is the KMAX Sports Network. Cavaliers fired up into the right side. Man, he oh, big swing oh, and the hammer. Oh. Bring the heat. It's Claymire around the band and a kill for Kristen Claymire, the senior leader. And a creative celebration dance by the uh, Lake Travis band. Going everywhere here tonight for the Cavaliers. Real on the serve, everybody scrambling. And a heat sinking missile of pain. <laughs> Sasha the Slayer. Here comes Hamilton yes. and gets the kill in the cut. Attack chance for the Cavaliers. Eckler with the set. Erie with the kill! Yes! Takes set two! Yes! Wow, there is no denying Clay Meyer tonight. Erie with the swagger and the dagger. The Cav Dome is rocking, Mike. Hit again by Wheeler. Wheeler in the sky keeps on turning! Woo! And when you come into Lake Travis, welcome to Block City! This is Lake Travis Lady Cavaliers Volleyball on KMAX Moore, the undisputed leader in high school volleyball broadcast. And now, here's your broadcast producer, as well as the voice of Lady Cavaliers Volleyball, Mike Youngblood. Cavaliers! Cavaliers! What's going on, Cavs Nation? We are set to begin. You are listening to Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball on KMAX Sports. It is rivalry week. It is a big week. And I, I don't think I think it may go without saying for most of our audience that knows what's going on. But hey, we're gonna keep you posted. So I knock out a headphone here. Mike Young went here with Mike B. Secker joined you here live in the Cav Dome. Uh, one of two home games left here on the season, five games left on the year. First up is going to be the Hayes Rebels, nine and four in district play, and uh, you know this is uh, the march continues here for Lake Travis, Mike. We know what's going on, Brada, a big match against Westlake, but taking care of business first against uh, you know, a Hayes team, kind of starting to find their groove here a little bit later on. Yeah, hu huge week in volleyball here for for Lake Travis. Um, this is kind of what we've been waiting for, Mike. Right? So uh, uh, yes. You know, we're back into the meat of the schedule. I, I really believe that Hayes is the best of the rest in the district. So I, I think you have Lake Travis and Westlake at a certain level, and I put Hayes right there. So uh, this is a very important match for uh, for Lake Travis, and, and you know from from all your your time coaching and, and basketball, this is a classic trap map. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It is so always. We can't be looking forward to Friday we got to take business here tonight against a, a very tall team that matches up well against Lake Travis so you know we I think I mentioned before we're 22 and 1 now when the team hits over 200 percent as a team when do you think the last time we didn't hit over 200 uh boy that that is uh that I, that's oh. going deep into the tournament season well, probably no, against like no, George Rand. no it was against Hayes so we, Hay oh. we didn't hit 200 against Hayes when we beat them and uh, both matches, they held us under 200 that we played them this year. So, you know, they, they match up pretty well with us. They had some passing issues in the last match. We, you know, it was one of our better serving matches. But uh, I'd like to see us really come out on a fast start, you know, and uh, take control of the match early. Mike B. Sanger bringing the heat early on here with some trivia. I'm fired up, man. This, this is a big week. I think we, we all are. And I, and I, and I think it's going to be a theme for everybody. Be calm. Take it one point at a time. And... You know, I think that's the one unique thing about volleyball in that respect is that you still got to get the points that are in front of you. I think in football you can you can beat somebody pretty good, and not have good technique, and you can you can make silly mistakes and just overpower teams. But you know, you still have to be really focused and precise on every touch to you know you, as you, you do. Set, put your and best foot forward to and what you do. And your dad probably remembers when when he coached and when I played. You know, when they moved to the rally scoring. That's when it really changed everything because unlike oh, yeah. football and unlike basketball, if you have a turnover or an error in volleyball, that's a that's a two point swing. That's a swing, the, you know, point for the for the opposing team, and so uh, you know you can get you can get you know that's why it's such a game of momentum. You can get down pretty quick, and uh, that's why I think it's important for us to get started early. Put keep the pressure on Hayes. We're you know we're the hunted now, as you yep. said, and and we need to we need to keep playing well, you know, with that target on our back. And, uh, yeah, I can remember when it wasn't rally scoring. I mean, very briefly, it felt like those matches were eight hours long <laughs> they for were. the most part. They so were. I think it's been better for the game that we the, that it has moved in that direction. Uh, again, we want to thank our sponsors of this broadcast as if they've been all season. Again, Capital Title and Keller Williams Realty, proud sponsor, Blake Travis, Capital Volleyball, and KMAC Sports. 
Uh, we're getting fired up as uh, both teams getting their set for their final warm-up. Setters out here with the hitters. Getting the final looks as uh, Hayes there on the serve line. Uh, just dodging balls, being smacked right out. That's one thing I've always liked about these warm-ups. Like, I wish we could do that in basketball. It's like try to dunk on somebody while they're on the baseline and stare them down and be like, what's up now? What's up now? But <laughs> it's a little more friendlier on this. But, you know, Cavaliers look in intent and focused, and I think yeah, that they understand. They've been through this before that, you know, I think we're past teams have kind of bitten that bug as to, you know, oh my God, it's, it, it's Westlake Friday. It's the biggest thing ever. Like, you know, I think there's more beef for this team beyond Westlake that even win or lose that. I agree. That there's a greater mission at stake that, you know, that is the icing on the cake to, to a degree to be able to take on your rival and try to play well and win. But, you know, like we talked about this senior group, they, they want this. This is not anything disingenuous. It's not a phrase on the wall. They really do want to take this title. And They've been very focused. I, I, I think they've really started to peak. Um, even against the middle part of that, that district, um, we were really playing very efficiently. Uh, everybody was focused. The senior leadership really comes out. Um, and, I, and I agree. I don't, I don't expect a letdown here. I, I expect a good match. But uh, I think they're gonna, you know, they're gonna be focused on Hayes. They're not, they're not gonna be focused on, uh, you know, that Friday match that, that everybody's looking forward to. So uh, I think we're gonna have a great match. And I think, you know, some players really started to, to, to excel right around this time when we played Hayes the first time. I, Cassidy and, and Sasha had a great match against Hayes last time. Um, they both continued to elevate their game in the back half of this district. And that's really where we started to figure out the right side. Kelly Hamilton started to take off right after this match. The Westlake match was her kind of coming out party on the right side, and she's taking it from there. Maddie the Machine has yeah. been on fire lately uh, yeah. uh, as well. And, I mean, who knows what nicknames may, may entail from this game. Because some of the best ones are come up right on the spot, like the International House of Pancakes, Kelsey Cohen, who's been, right. you know, just, I, I think it's been the straw that stirs the drink here. It's just, just you know... It goes underappreciated because, I mean, we've we were talking on the side, you know, of like, you know, the fact that the blocking has been so strong that, you know, you get a lot of tips, you get a lot of disruption, a lot of missed time and all that stuff. But, I mean, when you have a great libero back there covering everything, I mean, man, that's got to be frustrating for a hitter, for a server to think, I got this one, I got this one, boom. That's a great, that's right a great point. I, I was saying blocking, but it, it really is our defense. We have been leading with our defense. Um, our offense has definitely come alive, the back half of this district. Um, but it is. It's not just our blocking. Kelsey is has to be up for one of the top liberos in the district. Um, she's been playing great all year. It all starts with passing. And uh, our serve receive and her digging has been really key to this run that they're on right now. And, I mean, everybody's everybody's had a hand. There's not – I mean, there hasn't been many nights where I'm like, boy, that kid didn't come to play today, did they? Or that, that – I mean, even if the, maybe somebody doesn't have their best night – it's not a huge detriment. You've got other teammates that can that can fill the gap or just come out and be great teammates, and, and all that stuff really matters. And I, 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 they're really spreading the ball around. I, I think Abby's doing a great job. Um, Carson is, is has as well um, come along the, the back half of this this district run, and uh, they're spreading the ball around. So that that's very hard to defend. You know, when when you're worried about both sides of the pins. And, and you have such a strong middle attack, it just puts a lot of pressure. We've seen it. It puts a lot of pressure on these teams they play. It is uh, Dick for the Cure Night here, always uh, one of the better nights uh, on the home schedule. This is always one of the great things that, that happens here in the month of October here for the uh, Susan B. Komen Foundation, if I got that right. Uh, Susan G or Susan B. But, uh, you know, the... Uh, if this is something really important that, that is being done, I think, throughout sports, not just volleyball. You see some of the other major ones get into it as well. Yeah, it's, I think everybody's been touched by, you know, someone who's, you know, who, who's had cancer. And this is, a you know, such a great cause that they do every year. And yeah. they've added the middle school night as well. So we have a, you know, right behind us, we have uh, two full middle school volleyball teams, uh, actually probably four teams that are behind us. So, um you know, it, it should be a, it should be a good good evening. We had a really pretty full gym tonight as well. I think everybody's getting excited about, you know, the, what's the potential is in the, in the next phase of the season here for Lake Travis Cavaliers. Uh, 29 and 11 overall, 13 and 0 in district play. So I showed you the district standings earlier. We're about to get with our lineups and introductions here. 
Uh, and, and always a special mode for this, so we'll have the mic tuned up for that. Again, Lake Travis 13-0, Westlake 12-1. Hayes and Bowie both 9-4. They have split their season series, but uh, Hayes' is scheduled throughout. I mean, looks pretty good after this, so we'll, we'll take it here to the court. So many have lost their lives too. Early detection is key. We are excited to be part of the PSYOP Foundation and its Dig Pink initiative, and we need your help to make our campaign successful. Funds raised for the PSYOP go towards a clinical trial specifically for patients with stage 4 breast cancer, the most advanced form of the disease, and the least funded area of research. The Knights, Lake Travis, and Hayes Volleyball have teamed up to raise money for breast cancer. Help us by supporting our campaign to make a game-changing impact on metastatic breast cancer research. All money raised tonight will be donated from both teams to the side out foundations. Please purchase your t-shirts which have been sponsored by Lake Travis Football so all money can be donated. All concession stand purchases will also be donated to the side out foundation. Please post on social media and use the hashtag DayP. Please rise for the singing of the national anthem by Cynthia Lawson Baker. Trista Strasser, in honor of Dr. Karen Collins. 
Number two, Jocelyn Robertson, in honor of Vanessa Balvaderi. Number three, Sierra Dittmar, in honor of Louis Schubert. Number four, Ashley Esparza, in honor of Mai Silver. Number five, Brooks Sheely, in memory of Annie Blanche Benton. Number 21, Tori Sinang, in honor of Beatrice Rodriguez. Number seven, Maddie Hammond, in honor of Mary Ann Jones. Number eight, Sydney Collins, in honor of her mom, Dr. Karen Collins. <laughs> Number nine, Tia Oldsby, in memory of Ruby Hart. Number ten, Jamie Agnew, in honor of Helen Tripp. Number eleven, Maddie Kraft, in honor of Crystal Lucero. Number twelve, Kayla Tello, in memory of Number 14, Ryan Torres, in honor of Tensha Torres. Number 19, Emily Linder, in honor of Betsy Miller. Number 17, Julia Bowen, in honor of Carol Decky. Number 24, Catherine Croft, in memory of Betsy Busby. Manager, Brianna Gold, in honor of Trish Grant. Manager, Scott Wilson in honor of Linda Wilson, head coach Stephanie Curtis, in honor of Tammy Coggins, assistant coach Allison Castillo, in honor of Connie Melendez, assistant coach Dietrich Stingwell, in honor of Elijah Curl, assistant coach Charles Norton, in honor of Jane Martin. And now for our late Travis, Lady Cass! Intro, huh? That was, uh, that was great touching. Uh, great stuff. Yeah, and like, uh, I never got to meet my grandmother. As, uh, she, she had passed away long before I was born, so 
Uh, yeah, my, my grandfather remarried, obviously, but uh, sounded like a pretty amazing woman I never got the chance to meet. So I think, he, like you said, there's a lot of people that have been affected uh, in many different uh, portions of your life. So this is a cool thing that, that we get to witness. But, hey, we got a volleyball match going on here. We've been, we I've been hungry to get back on the air. It's a very boring week not being able to scream into a microphone about a play that's going on. So... Yeah, I hope I didn't forget how to do this, Mike. It, uh, it is. Uh, I, I doubt that could happen. I, I think we're in for a good one tonight. I, I feel good energy in the gym. Um, you know, I believe that if a win tonight would would secure a playoff spot, we all want a lot more than that. But yeah, but um, I, you know, that's at stake. You it's know, Hayes is still stuff. fighting as well, and um, you know, they played pretty well against us. Uh, so uh, I expect a good match tonight. You know, it is always kind of touch and go to figure out which Hayes team you're going to see. There's a lot of talent on this floor, on that side of the floor, but they're going to have to play really well in order to try to beat this Lake Travis team. And so for on the floor here is for Coach Side and the Cap Dome, one of uh, two home games that we have left here on the schedule. Uh, Cavs going to start with Rudick, Kristen Klemeyer, James Wheeler, Maddie Williams, Kelsey Cohen, and uh, Abby Watts. On the other side here for the Hayes Rebels, going to have Ryan Torres uh, serving here with uh, Catherine Croft, uh, Kayla Tello. Uh, we've got Maddie Kropka, and uh, let's see who else we have here. We've got Jamie Agnew, and here's a serve by Torres, received by Claymeyer, set here for the Waz, right back to Kristen. Kristen blocked back, and going there to, to try to cover, but a uh, quick drop down, a nice block there at the start. Yeah, it's, it's right away, you know, went to the outside. Kristen, I like, you know, very good swing on the ball. Uh, they're a very good blocking team. We, we saw that last time we played them. So we, got, we have to continue to be aggressive. And there we go. one nothing lead here for the Rebels. Received by Cohen. Matty pass it here to the near side. There's a freebie hit by Claymeyer. Middle of the floor set for Hayes towards with a set. Hit by the lefty touch shot. Blocked the back up in the air. Claymeyer pass here to Cohen. Right back to Kristen. Double K. Hits it down the line. Pass by Tello across the floor. Here's the back row attack. Spinner received by Cohen. Right behind the attack line, here comes the drop from Jams. And received by Croft, got passed across the floor to Colt. Then Agnew is cut, and we've got a violation called here on Lake Travis, down 2 nothing at the start of set number one. Yeah, Maddie, Maddie was in the net. She, she got a little aggressive on her block. Uh, you know, Hayes is digging the ball. They're extending the rallies. We, you know, we want to... Want to put one away here. Torres leading things off for the 2-0 run. Here's the receive set here to Claymeyer on the right side. Cuts it in a great shot there by Kristen Claymeyer. Again, you don't have to hit a lot of velocity. Just find the open space. And Kristen is as great as anybody on this team at doing that. We, we talked about it. She's versatile. She, you know, we moved her to the right side there. I like that move. You know, she hit a few from the from the left side, and, and she, she put a nice ball on the ground. One to two, Kristen Claymeyer near on the jump serve, resent deep court, pass her to the attack line, a little hop serve, hop set, excuse me, hit the right side, Maddie hustling, back into the scores table, and back into play. Kropka pass in here in front of that, both jump step set, oh, and a liner down the line by Maddie Kropka. Got, uh, that was a great save by Maddie, she went flying into the scores table, brought it back, but uh, Kropka's got a nice arm on the left side, you know, she's a lefty. Plays, I mean, plays the right side, I should say. And uh, we'll have to keep an eye on her tonight. Uh, that was a, that was well, a good swing. And, uh, and, I mean, they're like Travis got themselves a little bit out of position because they're, they're trying to yep. scramble, and it's tough to cover that if you're out of position. So That's here's right. a receive here by Jams off the surface. He Watts with a set behind. Here comes Maddie on the slot. Cuts it straight up in the air. High pass. Tello going to bump this here to the back. Where Torres slaps at it and out of bounds in front of the Cavalier bench point. Here for the Cavaliers. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take a little bit of an unforced error by Hayes. A little hitting error there, but um, you know Kelsey back to serve. Going, going. She's having a very good, good year serving. So hopefully she can maybe, you know, get us on a little run here. And three to two. It's going to be Cohen on the lefty on the serve. A little hop serve. Floater up in the air. Received by Tello. Set inside the attack line. Pass across. Hit by Croft. And Watts going to bump this up in the air. Jams throws it deep. He tips it deep, power tip, pass for across the floor. Croft launched it deep way too far. Uh, excuse me, was that uh, Croft or was that Agnew? Uh, that, uh, that, that was, was Croft. Croft. Yeah, Croft, Croft uh, you know, she saw that wall up there, and, and she, she tried to go deep but, but hit that about four or five feet out. So, you know, let's get on a little run. Todd of a three. Cohen now here on the hop serve. Spins it. Nearly an ace received by Tello. Torres up near Croft and tries to cut it. Kristen Klemeyer nearly saves it with one hand, but... 
Now, Cavaliers trying to find their gear on defense, and I think it might just take one big, uh, maybe like a jams wheeler kill to just get the gym rocking here. Yep, good touch by Kristen, but, but better swing. And Tello with a short serve received by Jams here near side. Go back across to Maddie. Maddie down the line. Maddie with a kill. Great swing by Maddie. Uh, yeah, very under control. She's hitting that line shot really well. Um, there was nobody over there to defend that. Like you said, she, you know, she didn't have to go all out and, and, and attack that. She just placed it in the right spot and, and got the point. And, you know, Lake Travis serving. And Carson Hempel the ball game. Lines in the middle of the floor. Set here from the attack line. A little jump set hit by Kropka. Cut. Tipped off the block. Hempel trying to save it with one hand. And a kill uh, for Maddie Kropka. Off to a good start for the Lady Rebels. She has, that's three kills. In a, that's three kills on, uh, I think, on four swings for her. So, you know, we need to, we need to set that block a little inside on her. And here comes the surface seat from Hayes here to Cohen. Good pass here, nailed pass to Hempel, set behind her. Comes Jams and a cut oh, right wow. there for a kill as we pump up the Jams in set number one. Yeah, that's a great, great, great cross jams. court swing right, right at the 10 foot line. You know, she just is above the block when she's attacking it, you know, reaching up very high. It was a great swing by by Jams. And we'll have Taylor Diamond Rio here in the bowl game for the first time. Launches this one over. Received middle of the floor. Low pass here to Torres. It dumps it off. Slap back by Erie. Now back in Hayes territory. Torres pass it around to play. Robertson throws it over back in the Hayes side. Dug up by Rio on the block back. Here comes Claymire. Claymire block back out of bounds. Point for the Cavaliers. Now up six to five and momentum nice. slowly building. Nice transition point there. So as you mentioned we were, we were a little out of sorts on our transition plays. Nice up by um, by Hempel, and you know Kristen really attacked that well and pushed pushed it off the, the right side of that block uh, and tooled that block out of bounds. Six to five, Cavaliers lead one. Rio now leading the way here for the Cavs. Uh, so watch this one. Fast serve, sit to the deep court towards the jump set, big swing, and gets through the block. It is Catherine Croft, and yeah, you know, like you said, they've got some good hitters on this side. They do. They're they're scoring from the right side. I don't know. It's interesting. They're they're really forcing the ball to their right side. I don't know if they saw something from the last time we played, but they're, that's working for them right now. We're gonna need to figure that out. Six to six received here by Cohen. Set here by Hempel. Here comes Claymire with a cut. Oh, that's beautiful! Oh, Did she wow. get it in? Great shot. That that is perfect. Beautiful, beautiful shot, shot there by the double K, Kristen Claymire. Great shot, Mike. That was spot on. That, that was probably about the one foot line. Cut that hard right. Nobody over there to defend it. Great play. Castillo launches this one here. Leading by one. Nearly an ace as Tello puts it up in the air. Hit on the left side by Agner. Received by Rio. Set by Hempel here to the left side. It's Claymire with a big swing. Passed out of play. Here comes the back row attack by Hayes. Hempel's going to have to pass it over here on the first touch. Here comes the set by Torres here to the outside. Agner touch shot. Blocked. Blocked by Erie. Or excuse me, by Rudick. Set by Hempel. Here comes Sasha off the block. And the Slayer lights it up here for the Cavaliers. Leading now 8-6. to six. And Sasha again, I think that's her first kill of the night. Great transition. We got them out of system. We got back into system and fed the middle. And, and Sasha, you know, tooled them right off the top of the block, Mike. And here comes the serve from the friendly shores of Lake Erie. And passed across. Here comes the third one hit by Robertson through the block. Rudick there alone in the front of the net. And, yeah, you know, tough one. A nice hit there. I think that kid is a freshman, too, here for the she, Rebels. She is a freshman. Good good player. She struggled against us last time. We'll have to keep an eye and see if she can. She has a bigger game here tonight. Received by Rio. Set by Hempel. Behind the attack line. There's a strike by Keely Hamilton. Lobs it across. Set up. Here comes the hit for the back row by Hayes. Received by Hempel. Cohen's going to pass here to the right side. There's a tip over Hamilton. Just a little short of the net. And a first kind of as a second swing there by Keely. And second yeah. swing by Keely. She tried, she tried a little short roll shot over the block. She's been doing that pretty well. Um, you know, she'll get her rhythm. 8-8, eight eight. Cavaliers back in service, Heap good pass there by Rio Set, quick hit, to quick tip, right there by Sasha the Slayer, the native of Montreal. Yes, I great, saw that. Great article in, in her face just in the field uh, from there by the Statesman. Uh, it, it, wow, what a, it just really came well. away thinking, they don't mean adults as sharp as that kid. Yeah, very well spoken, I, I thought it was a great article as well. Yeah, good representation of Sasha. Abby Watts back in the ball game. Line drive down the line. Pass across here by Tello. Straight up in the air. Hit line drive. Received by Watts. Nearly overpassed. And blocked down. I believe that's Sydney Collins. 
Uh, as far as number 18, but there is no number 18 on the bench, so I no. think that that I think it's Collins. Yeah, that was that was a uh, that was a nice play. You know, we're 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 having a few overpasses on our digs right now. We need to keep them on our side of the book. Side of the net a little bit. Cohen here with the pass. Here's a set, the deep set here to Claymire. Skies through the air, a bit high, but uh, now 10 to 9. And I mean, we've seen the Cavaliers do this. They kind of get a little bit sluggish early, and then once you kind of get to point 17, 18, 19, that's when the the Jets start to turn on. So I don't have any concern. Yeah, Rio low pass across here to Watts. Here comes Claymire. Claymire tries to cut it again, and uh, that one goes out of play here on the other side. And you know. We, we talked uh, about pregame. I mean, it I is. I think I jinxed her from the right side, Mike. She's you know, two two swings from the right side. She just missed. You know, she's trying to play aggressive. You know, those are ones you probably want to keep in play, but we'll get them back. Okay, good pass here by Cohen. Here comes the slide to Maddie. Right off, tooled off the block. Tomahawk up in the air, two hand touch across. Yeah. Rio trying to hustle for it. A nice play there by Torres. Smart play. A, good, a really good time here for a timeout. I, I, I agree. It, it, you know, you can feel the momentum. This, this Hayes team's got a little more fire in them this time around, and uh, they're, they're finding some holes. We're making some unforced errors. Um, you know, that was a, I think it was a good timeout. I agree. I think it was the right time to you – know, we, we do yeah. not want to let one get away from us early. You know? yeah, and you don't want to call it too soon. You, you want to let your team kind of play through it and, and just see if you can figure it out. I mean, like we talked about, the, the game coming up Friday – you don't want to think about it. You don't want to talk about it. You, you want to be right in front of it, but it's it is the giant elephant that is in the room. That, <laughs> it is. It is. That even you know even the the most superhuman beings could be totally distracted by that point of what's at stake. So you know, get back to center here in the timeout. And I think our passing's a little off so far tonight. You know, our our, our you know there's some balls that we normally would dig up and, and keep in system, and we're having some overpasses. You know, so we just got to settle that down a little bit, play our game. You know, I'd like to see us come out of this time out with a really good pass to try to run run some offense against them and and uh, get the ball back. Yeah, this is not a not a bad Hayes team at all. They're very good. Here's a set here by Watts. Quick set, big hit by the Slayer. There you go. We're spot on. Just as we just as we dialed it up, you know, Taylor, who's been playing really well at DS, had a perfect perfect pass in system. We went right to our our strength, Sasha's. Just been just been playing at a really high level, and uh, hopefully that'll give us some momentum here. And 12 to 10. Here's the serve by Claymire, headed on the right side, cuts it tipped off the block. Claymire, here come the Cavaliers. Watch with the set. Here comes Jams. Jams launches it. Torres not able to save it with one hand, and quickly out of the timeout. Two points there for the Cavaliers. Close it within one. I tell you, Coach Bourne has been spot on on her timeouts this year. It started early in the tournaments few matches and uh, that continues. We, we play them really well coming out of those timeouts. Cavaliers down one. Clay Meyer leading the way. Floater spinning serve down the left side of the net. There's a set. Kropka trying to drop this one. Oh, somehow on the down jump there. Kropka kind of with a good tip up there. Managed to sneak it through the blocker. It's kind of a a time uh, a change up slash curveball. A little mistiming and she took advantage of it somehow. And that was a tough play. Received here by Cohen on serve receive. Watts high set. Here comes Jams off the block. Recovered back row. Torres with a set. Throws it across. Blocked straight up in the air. Saved by Wheeler. Watts straight up. Here comes Maddie down the right side. And bringing the heat is Maddie Williams. 13 to 12. Cavaliers down one. But momentum getting back on that Cavalier bench. Fired up kids. Great swing by Maddie. Driving. Maddie the machine as we've been calling her as of late. And she's just continuing to, to, to swing uh, you know, down that line and, and scoring a lot of points right now. And Cohen with a serve sent here to Tello. Torres with a set behind Croft with a cut. Saved there by Watts. And uh, that one will go into the net. I mean, that, that's a tough one because I think when you're reading the right side there, you're thinking she could go, she could go middle, she could go line. And I mean, that's that's been about like four really good swings for that Croft to take. Crafty, yeah, I have her five kills, Mike. And here's Tello on the surface seat by Claymire. Good pass here. Here comes Cassidy from the middle. Great play. Feeding Cassidy in the middle. You know, again, another another perfect pass coming off the serve. Um, we were able to run our offense. And that, you know, with Kraft, I think, you know, she likes to hit that sharp angle. We got to start taking that away from her, I think. Force her to go line. And here we go. Heppel lines to serve down one. 14 to 13 towards with the dump off. Oh, it's pancake there by Heppel. Oh. Nearly saving it. 
got her hand right underneath it. Good effort there by Carson Hempel. Good hustle, good hustle. I, you know, I, we, we talk about this a lot. You know, it, it, it just not letting that ball hit the ground. That That's important. You know, it's, it's a psychology thing for these girls. And received here by Cohen off the serve received. Down 15-13. Wow. going to Keeley. Keeley with a cut. They call it double. Or double, yeah, yeah double. Uh, she, she really tried to, you know, she, she was kind of kind of going away from the, from the ball, and she tried to force it to the outside. That was, it was a good try, but, uh, you know, definitely was a double. Cavaliers down 16-13. Hempel straight up in the air. Comes Keeley with a big swing, and Keeley gets a kill. 14-16. Cavaliers within two, and... Heck, right there within striking distance. Nice, yeah. nice swing by Keeley. You, you know, Taylor's been serving well. Hopefully, you know, we can, we can get on a little run here. This is about when we've been doing it. 14 to 16, Cavaliers down two. Good pass here by Torres. Here comes a tip on over by Crop. Block back and hit back in the Tello. Torres dumps this one off, received by Hempel. Bumped around here by Cohen, who's a runner. Hit by Claymeyer. Joust to the net. One-handed throw on over here by Torres. Heppel sets it here to the left side. Touch shot hit there by Claymeyer. And saved by Hayes. No, they'll say that one did touch the floor. Point for the Cavaliers. Nice little roll shot by Kristen. Um, you know, for, for the kill. That, that, that point really was saved by Cohen. She had a great dig on a hard hit ball. Kept, kept that rally alive. Let's keep it going. And Taylor Rio back in here to serve. Hop serve. Sent here at the right back, straight up, set up there. Big swing! And pass back here to the Hayes side. Torres two hands it over, Cohen two hands it up in the air. Claymeyer passed it back into play. Hamilton touches over on the third. Torres with a set of the right side. Robertson off balance, tip, and post here to the right side of the net for the Cavaliers. A kind of a lucky play there by Robertson, who didn't think I knew she knew where she was going with it and found yeah, the open area. I think that was a miss hit. That was a miss hit. Hard to defend that, and... Uh, you know, those are going to happen. It's really frustrating at Beach, too. I want to get out there and Sony this hits it and gets a lucky one. That was really frustrating. Cohen now passed it back into Claymeyer. Two-handed touch over a wild one. You know, what a great improv improvisational play on a broken play between those two, between Kelsey Cohen and Kristen right. Claymeyer. I mean, she took she took a, you know, what could have easily been uh, a lost point and turned it into a kill with, with, a, with a good heads-up play there. Erie with a let's serve and an ace! For Cassidy Lake Erie. Cassidy's been serving well this year. You know, we've gone on some runs with her back there. Let's keep it going. 17 to 17. Here come the Cavaliers. Line drive serve a little too far. Yeah, and a point here for the Hayes Rebels. All right, this is this is yeah, you, you called it. This is when we start to, to really play well. Let's see if we can we can continue that here in the first set. Cavaliers giving the uh, the Rebels some rope. Here comes McKenna Eck from the first ball game. Touch shot covered up by the up back. Too strong by Torres on two. And, you know, Torres really multidimensional. She can attack in a lot of different ways on the first, second, or third touch. you got to keep an eye Boy, on she's her. She's a pain to play against. Yeah, she got to keep an eye on her. You know, when she's in the front row, she's trying to make plays. And, uh, you know, just a little long on that one. 18-18, to 18, Abby Watts in to serve. Floating backspin serve, almost an ace. All right, Gonna be the third touch received by a real good pass here to Watts. Hit up here from Claymeyer for the stack and hits it high off the dig. There's the hit on the back row. Floater hit on over, received by by Cohen. Set behind her comes Maddie. Maddie with the drop, saved by Torres. Tello sends it back. Rio with the pass in front of the net. Watts sends it. Sasha! Woo! Sasha the Slayer lights the gym up. Let's go! Wow, Sasha the Slayer. That was that was just what just what this gym needed, just what the team needed. You know, they they you know Hayes is getting the ball up. But that was a, a great pass in transition, and, and and Sasha, you know, she just put it away. She attacked that ball, tried to put a hole in the floor, and it was a, it was a great kill. Got got the got the gym fired up right now, Mike. Uh, th th there is something to say about flow, about getting out of your own way and getting into your rhythm. I mean, we saw Coach pull Kelsey Cohen aside for a minute there to try to get them in the right spot. I mean, this coaching staff knows what's at stake. They're still out here teaching. They're still out trying to get these girls in the right position to play. And, and I mean, you just take it point by point by point because it ain't going to come easy. We've said that a lot this year that this isn't about, you know, nobody's going to hand this to you. Nope. But, and I this group understands it, but, you know, it's to not get panicked early on, even when things may not be going 100%. I mean, that takes some resolve to, to, to play 
at this pace. And it does. And, and we always seem to get the best of these teams in that first set, right? And yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, that that's that's part of it. You always get the first one. So Watt's going to send this one a little strong. Cav, Cavs a few, a must few. have been hitting the weight room this yeah. week because they've been a little long on They're some pumped up. Serves. They're pumped up. They know they know it's a big week. But, you know, that's a few of those those serves we've gone a little long on when we've gotten the momentum. And uh, we got to keep an eye on that, right? We want to, you know, we want to keep that, keep the ball. Let's get a side out right here. And Torres at her feet lines this one here at Clay Meyer. Good pass here to Watts. And Sasha off her feet gets it on the third. Jump set here by Croft. Blocked, blocked by Sasha. Great adjustment, great adjustment. You know, Kraft was, was cutting the ball, cutting the ball. You know, we we set that block a little more inside, took that shot away from her. And uh, you know, got a kill, got a block on our, you know, on our side. So let's let's uh, take advantage of it here. Twenty to nineteen. Kristen Claymeyer on the serve. Cavaliers up one, trying to take set one. Again, they've only lost one set this year, and that was to Westlake. That was in set three, and there's going to be a service error. Twenty to twenty. Now, Chris a little up and down on the serve this year. I think she's still trying to find a rhythm in ball games and. You know, she's been I, trying a number of different serves, I see, and uh, you know we—that's three now. We've had some momentum, sh you know, missed serves when we needed the momentum. We everybody's to reel that in. Here comes Sasha again. Wow! And tipped by Hayes, and I get some really big swings from Sasha Rudick. Yeah, I saw Sasha down for five. She deserves more nicknames, honestly. Like uh, she's got to have more, but nothing better than the Slayer. Twenty-one twenty. Floater here by Cohen off the serve. Torres set here behind. Krofka sends it down the line here to Cohen. Pass by Watts. Here comes Jams and hits it on over here left side. Torres throws it over on to save by Claymeyer. Hit by Watts. Cohen now here on the third. Back in play. Great freebie. Torres jump sets. Krofka tries to cut it again oh. in between it. But man, Kristen Claymeyer laying out. Flying through the air to save that ball. Love to see that from your senior. That was a great save. I mean, she did. She laid completely out for that. Kravka, yeah, you know, she's having a big night. She's another kill by her. And is Tello going to be on the server seat by Jams? High pass to the tack liner because Maddie on the slide. Maddie sends it deep and a little too strong. And now 22 21. Hayes leading. And, you know, hey, this is, you know, I think it's a good thing. Get some pressure under your belt to get yourself prepared for later on this week. I agree, I agree. Tello now here on the serve. Received by Claymeyer, set by Watts. Here comes the attack by Jams. Jams off the block. Received there by Croft. They'll go back to Croft. Plus a one arm save. Cohen trying to lay out for it. 23-21. Yeah, I tell, you, I tell you what's going on right now is you know, Hayes is doing a good job with their block touches. They may not be blocking us, but they're slowing our attacks down that we normally are putting to the floor. That's allowing their defense time to get the ball, and, and then they're able to put that ball back in system and put pressure on us. So, you know, we need to find a way to get a little more aggressive on our swings. Um, you know, try to probably, we're going off the top of the block a lot. I'd like to see us tooling left and right a little bit. So those balls are going out of bounds and out of play. Um, but we'll, we'll adjust. But this is, you're right, this is a great test here in the first set, Mike. And crowd yeah, and I, mean, I mean, if you lose this set, big deal. I mean, I mean it's... Yeah, I mean, it's going to turn the pressure up a little bit, but again, for this group, I mean, we believe. I mean, we, we, I, I, this has been such a fun year that, you know, I think in past years, your stomach would start to churn a little bit. You go, oh, it's going to be one of those nights, but well, I, think I, I don't think that to be the case with this group at all. They are, they're, I think we'll, we'll see a pretty good adjustment here and see what this group can do. Yeah, this is our first set back against, you know, one of the top four teams in the district. We've had a you know, eight match run here where we have not been tested like this. So let's see, let's see how we respond. 23-21, Cavaliers down two. Here comes Tello floating this one serve received by Jams. Good high pass. Watts set, hit by Erie. Hit back to Erie. Watts now with the set. Here comes Jams down the left side. Touch shot over the block. Saved by Torres. Tello sends it over the net. It touches the top of the table. Received by Claymore. Watts hits it. Erie slaps it. Saved there in the back row by Hayes. Hit by Croft. Lobs it over. Received by Claymore. Watts in front of the net. Set. Here comes Maddie. Maddie cuts it. Croft goes straight up in the air. That should have been a lift. Like, I don't know. Like She received it at her stomach. I don't know how that's not one of these. But yeah, either way, uh, next Tor point. Torres, Torres right now is finding holes in our corners. And I think Kristen's going to talk to him about that lift. I agree, that probably was a lift. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you got to make a strong case but there. I, but I will say, you know, they're, they're putting up a block. Like and, and how? We, we are we're starting to tip the ball a little bit. I don't want us to get tip happy here. we got to keep swinging. Let's get a side out here. Let's not let them go on a run here and, and finish this out without a little bit more of a fight in this set. Well, he is putting up a good one here, 24-21. They are potentially looking for set number one. And, and it'll be Teller deep here on the serve here for the Rebels. Breathe, relax. Go get them, Cavaliers. Received now here by Jams. Set here by Watts. Here comes Erie. Here with a touch over Torres there to cover. Bumped around. Here comes Crofka right side. Sends it deep. Too strong. 24-22. Good eye by Cavaliers Chris. on the serve. Now let's go right here. Let's get on a run right here. Let's go. Let's, let's keep the pressure on them and uh, make, them, make them really earn this set if they're going to take it. 24-22 will have Carson Hempel in on the serve. Again on the floor with Clay Meyer Cohen. Eklund in nearly an ace. High set from that. Torres sets behind. Eklund off her feet. Oh, my mm. Lord. How did Kropka on the right side playing like a machine right now? Yep, Hay Hayes takes the first set. You know, I, I, you can kind of see this building. We, we, we had a couple unforced errors on serves when we had the momentum. Um, we left them hang around a little bit longer than we normally did. Do. This is the first set that we've probably been pressed in a long time, so I think yeah, that's good to get that under our belt. I mean, you, you said that, like, I mean, you think about all the matches that this team has gone through. It's kind of one of those that I think it's like in basketball, you wish you could get a, a non-district game against somebody good within your district season as to, like, you know, when, when, when the Big Ten ACC Challenge, when, when you get to go schedule somebody else and... Yep. And maybe get a scrimmage or something in there just to just to get the eyes going again. Because there, there's no doubt, no, this this is, I mean, nobody's trying to look past anybody, right? I mean that that's not that's not what the deal is. But your emotions and and your energy that that flow into just playing your best by being challenged, you know, that takes a little while to to go it, back it, up. It so. does. I mean, but hats you know, off to Hayes. They played terrific there in set they, one. They played well in set one, and I like I said, they match up pretty well against us uh, we, we played them in a tournament earlier this year in a you know in a, in a best of three match and, and lost that to them um, so I mean they have some confidence probably coming into this gym knowing that you know they played us well in the past so um, we're gonna need to step up this is a great test heading into obviously Friday um, we want to win this we want to just take care of, of, of what's in front of us um, the goal is to win district and then and then go deep into the playoff run um, so I, I, I think it was a good test. I, I think, you know, little unforced errors here and there by us. They're playing well. I tell you, Torres yep. and uh, uh, Kravka are, are, are really scoring a lot of points from, for Hayes. we got to figure that out. And you know what I like right now? All the positional groups right now meeting up in circles here after set one. The middles, setters, back row players, hitters, you know, they're all collaborating together. And, that, I mean, that's the thing is that everybody thinks coaching or leadership comes from coaching and that it's just one person at the top giving instructions. Like, leadership comes from all levels within your organization. And, uh, you know, good, good scene out here as Cavaliers try to readjust and go for set two. We've needed, we've needed this, to be honest. We've needed somebody to challenge Lake Travis a little bit and kind of wake us up and realize, you know, hey, you're not invincible. I mean, you still got to play well. Uh, again, we want to thank our sponsors, Capital Title and Keller Williams Realty. I uh, also want to give a shout-out to... Uh, See if I can get this pulled up here. Uh, I, I want to give a shout out here to Project Serve here with uh, Bobby Jones, Molly, uh, Lexi, Felipe, and all the group up there. Uh, check out their website, projectservebb.com. They've got a juniors tournament clinic coming up with the South Carolina Beach coach, RJ Abella, coming up October 20th. Uh, even a little spiker. This is something that I saw that, that even the, the groups below your high schools. Uh, check them out, Project Surf BB. Also on Facebook and Instagram, Project Surf, at Project Surf BB. Uh, you can train up in the north at the domain, and for anybody in our Hayes audience, the Railhouse and Kyle. Uh, I've been training with them. Mike, I was never played volleyball in my life. I watched it all my life. In about two weeks, my game has gotten really good. Excellent. I mean, for, for a guy who's never played, I, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not ready to go out there and compete there with the you know, the tournament doubles type of stuff like there, but I swear by those people. They're, they're, well, they're crazy in all the right ways. Bob, Bobby does a great job, and, and um, he, he's been, you know, he's one of the early guys here in Austin that had uh, started the Junior Beach program. You know, my daughter's done a little bit of training with him, 
in the past. He runs some very good tournaments. Um, but you know, if you're if you're an indoor player, you know, listening and and you want to improve your your uh, your game, you know, beach, you know, really forces you to play every position. You learn how to set. You learn how to pass. You really learn ball control, and uh, and it also helps your vertical jump. I'm sure you've seen that. You know. Boy, trying to move in the sand is tough. Yeah, my ankles have never hurt so much in my life after that. I know, and it's gotten them stronger to a degree. I nearly passed out in my first workout just because, you know, like when I play basketball, you all you want to do is run through a wall through everything, and when you get out in the sand, you have to be a little bit more measured about your pace. And Bob, Bobby teaches me. I mean, all all those guys all teach me something. Yeah, you know, every minute it's like, holy smokes. Nice. Really great coaching being done there. So like to see how we bounce back here. All right, Watt's going to lead it off here in set two. Cavaliers wake up time. Torres set here, hit on the right side, and a big hit there by, I think that was Agnew, wasn't it? Yeah, Agnew. that was Agnew here on the kill. Yeah, Agnew. And, you know, they. I will say this. Hayes is passing a lot better in serve receive than they did the last time we played them. So they're able to run their offense a little more than last time. They We had ten, ten aces against them last, uh, last match. Cavaliers, oh, they're going to try to figure it out. Cohen here with the pass up. Watts chasing this one. Good pass over to Claymire on it. So, ooh, line. Torres keeps it up in the air. Got some help there from Tello, but to no avail. Really and nice play by Kristen there. That was a tough angle, you know, out of system ball, and she put a good swing right between the block. I tell you, Torres, Torres almost got that up. She's playing fantastic you know, right. right now on their side. One to one, here comes Claymeyer on the surf watch set. Oh, that's an ace, that's an ace for Kristen uh, Claymeyer. Make a call. Yeah, they called it out. I, oh, really? I, yeah, they called out. I, I think it was out. I, I think I, it was. I had a pretty good angle on it. And then, you know, uh, that's another one, right? So we gotta, we got to keep an eye on that. We're having a lot of uh, uh, missed serves coming I out of the side. I still think Crawford should have got called for that lift there at the 20th no, point. Right. But right. Yeah, well, we can't focus on that. But Cam's here on the serve received, two to one. Hit on Wheeler here on the left side, spins it over. Kafka passed it backwards, now back into play. Torres, two hands it over, received by Jams. Set by Watts, here comes Maddie. Maddie with a cut, received by Torres. And here on the right side, Kafka launches it too strong. All right, let's go, let's go. I, you know, they're having a few unforced errors here. Let's let's take advantage now. I'd like to see us uh, put, put pressure on them, but let's get a couple serves in here and try to get on a little bit of a run. Now it's going to be Cohen here on the jump serve. Spencer received there by Tello, set here by Torres. Low set across. Watts from the net, dumps it off. Everybody there to cover for Hayes. Hit back again. Claymire with a good pass from the net. Watts straight up in the air. Here comes Maddie. Maddie touches it over. Sends it diagonal. Cover with Torres there. Croft on the right side. Blocked! Blocked by Cassidy Erie. Great block by Erie. They're starting to really, really starting to set up on the inside. That's Kraft's favorite shot. Going, going on that cross court, so good block by Cassidy. Here we go, three to two. Cavaliers lead now. Cohen with some attitude on that here serve. Torres with a set behind Kropka, tries to hit it again. You shall not pass. Four to two, drowning the shores of Lake Erie. That's why she leaves the block, uh, leaves the area in blocks, uh, Mike, and that's exactly what we need right now. We need to get now Kraft is not swinging quite as freely now. It's two. She's got Bach twice down in a row. Four to two. Cohen hits that serve. Sets on over by Torres. Tipped off the block. Watts with a good pass. Cohen now with a pass behind. Here comes the wheeler in the sky. Hit back in the air. Yes. And it's going to be a point for the Cavaliers. Net violation called here on the Rebels. Yeah, Kraft. Kraft Kraftka is, uh, um, you know, that was a little bit of a lift on her part. You know, uh, we, she had one earlier. They missed. They got that one, Mike. And here we go, five to two. Cohen with some, oh my lord, the spinning serve. Torres passing across here, let Agnew into the net. And there you go, straight off the serve, Cavaliers. You know, the serves hasn't been quite as electric. Here we but go. But Kelsey Cohen has got some mean spin on that ball. I, I like it, I like Love it. She's it. got a nice jump, top spin serve going right now. You know, importantly, she's keeping it in play, which has been a little bit of our challenge this evening. And you know what, they're starting to feel a little of the pressure. We had two blocks in a row. Uh, then an out of system ball. Um, this is what happens, you know. This is typically our little runs that we go on these five, six point runs. So, you know, Kelsey's uh, leading the way here with her aggressive serve. Now, coming out of a timeout, Mike. You know, you'll, you'll learn this in beach volleyball yep. as well. They 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 have this kind of seven deadly sins of serving. You know, when you don't want to miss a serve, right? And there's 
you know, we'll, we'll go through them throughout the rest of the season maybe. <laughs> but, um, but one of those, and most importantly, is coming out of a timeout. You know, so it's important to get this serve in. Um, there's some momentum killers, and this is one of them right here. So we want to, you know, she wants to continue to put pressure on them, but let's make sure we get this one, this one in play and, and force Hayes to make a play. Cavaliers quick out of the timeout. Hayes taking their time there to get refocused. And, you know, we've, we've seen spurts where you look at some of the scoreboards where, like, Hayes just has, like, a second or third set where it's just the margin of air. The, the margin is so enormous a really for good a team point. of their skill. Tello, it can be a tough pass, pumped up the air there by Torres. Watts for the attack line. There comes Castieri, blocked back, covered there by Cohen. Watts straight up in the air. Here comes the roll shot from Claymeyer into the net. A tough one. Chris has been converting on a lot of those. She, and she has, she has. But you're, you're right. That was a great point. I, I have noticed that they have struggled in some of their second sets. Nice play. Kristen's been hitting that pipe really well and, and uh, just, just keep up a little short on that one. We'd love to win 25-10, but, I mean, this is a Hayes team with some fight, and I'm set by Watts straight up the Maddie on the slide. And a perfect shot there in the power alley, but the right back. And, I mean, Matt, Maddie's got a, diff a couple of different directions that she can go off the slide that you can't just go, like where Torres has been camping out there right behind the attack line. I mean, Torres has been camped out there, and Maddie making a great adjustment to get really that ball at ball the there. right back. Yep, great, great job by Maddie. Yep. Seven to three received here, here. Torres with a set. Robertson with a touch on it. It's not going to get past the net. There's some miscommunication there, and eight to three. Miss Cavaliers rolling now. Yeah, a little, little, little timing was off there. I think the freshman jumped a little early on that one. Um, you know, we'll take it. Let's keep it going. I pull lines another serve received by Croft. Set behind. Croft got covered there by Cohen. Good dig up. Heppel with the bump pass. Here comes Jams through the block. There we go, there we go. Nice transition ball there. Uh, you know, really, really nice set by Hempel. Put it in a perfect spot, and Jams took care of the rest there. So, you know, we're really, you know, you're starting to see the, you know, he's just putting the pressure on him here. Do, 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 Wheeler in the, okay, there's Hempel on the serve. Almost got to the song. Here comes uh, <laughs> two with the power tip over received there by Cohen, set by him. Erie blocked back and hit right back to her. And, you know, I, th I think teams are going to really start looking at Lake Travis and know they want to go to it. And, you know, I, th I think if you're those middles, you're, you're thinking about touches on either side of the drop zones. Mm -hmm. That if you start to see some hands peek up there. That's here a good, we go. Good block by Hayes. Cavaliers and serve received 9 to 4. Hempel with a bump set. This is going to be a contest of the net. Good tip over there by Jams. Torres with a set behind. Good dump off, but Cavaliers cover. Comes Kristen. Kristen with a roll shot and perfect. And like you said, I mean, it, it feels like a broken record, but you're like, boy, that's a great beat shot there by Kristen Claymire. I wonder, I wonder, does she play beach? Is she, she going I mean, she anywhere plays for a that? Bit beach. She plays yeah, a little she, bit beach. She'll be playing that for the next uh, four or five years, I think, Mike. And a pretty high level, really, really nice shot. Smart play. Let's get see what Taylor Rio can do here with her serve. And the Diamond Rio almost covered up here on their near sideline. Out of system, there's a chance for Cavaliers in transition. Here comes a set by Hempel Erie with a good power tip. And, you know, she's made a living on a couple of shots like that this year when, you know, like we just talked about the last time, you start to see everybody camp around the net. Man, those deep corners. Really nice play by Cavaliers. What do they call that? The jumbo shrimp and in, vault. I, I think there's a term that I was reading about the other day. 11 to 4, Cavaliers now in a, uh, now a service error. Now 11 to 5. Cavaliers lead by six. Let's get a side out right here. We don't want to lose that momentum. Let's get a good pass. Launches on over here. Received by Cohen. Heppelman for the net. Here comes Erie. Erie tools it off the block. Great hit there by Castieri. Nice play. Good, good insist. Perfect pass. We were able to run a little play. Cassidy came for like a, we call that an A, a back, a back one and a half uh, set behind uh, the setter and uh, put it away for a kill. 12 to 5, Cavaliers lead by 7. Mike and Mike with you here at courtside. Les Clary, our QA and producer. Castieri spins this one over, received deep middle. Torres going to have to hit this one on two. Erie keeps up in the air. Oh, Hempel gets it on over. But that was a tough play because that ball came striking right at uh, Erie on two. Oh, wow. And Hempel really had to try to get herself in position to make the second touch. Yeah, and smart play by Torres there. So she, you know, she yeah, tried she to take the center out, right, and, and force us to go out of system. Anderson received here by Rio. Set by Hempel here. The outsider comes Claymire with a strike into the net. 12 to 7. He is closing it to 5. But 
you know, comfortable place pace here for the Cavaliers. No good, need to panic. Good swing by Kristen. Better block on their side. Keep swinging. Received here by Rio. Set in front of the net. Here comes Sasha. Sasha with a tip into traffic. In the middle of the floor, Tello going to send it here to the left side. Agnew and Agnew gets a kill from the left side of the net. Nice swing by Agnew. I mean, Hayes is not going away tonight. I, you know, they seem to be playing some inspired volleyball. We need to, you know, we need a good pass right here. Let's get a good play in system and, and uh, get the ball back. Tello lines this one. Clay Meyer, low pass. Eklund passing around. Cavaliers send this one here on the freebie. Torres with a setter. Comes to slide down the right side by Collins. Received by Rio. Beat Joust into the net. Sasha sends it over. It's back to the Cavaliers side. Clay Meyer with the power tip deep. Received by Kropka. Torres sets it across. Blocked. Blocked out of bounds. And a point will be for the Rebels. Though Eklund there and Sasha. They were there. There they to were put there. it in. So this is that rotation she used last time we played Hayes, Mike. She's got Eklund setting out of the front row. So I keep, keep an eye on her. They're going to try to get her a ball where she can take it over on the second second ball as an option play to try to get them a little out of rhythm. Um, but, you know, that was a good block. You know, better swing. Push it out. This Hayes team's not going to go away. I mean, no, they're no, not going to go away. But the, the, the problem, I mean, the thing for Hayes is, like, when do they run out of gas or when is it do they falter because... I mean, we've seen it at times. They'll put up a good fight, and then there's some point in the match where things will break down. Well, I mean, they, 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 they swept us last year because they had a fantastic team. Uh, I mean, they, they were, they, they've always been really good, but, you know, I think when, when the talent has been more on the LT side or, the, or on the Westlake side, they've really kind of struggled to get through it. And, you know, maybe they're having their own epiphanies at this point of as to how good they can be. Well, but, I mean, if you're like Travis, man, you got to find that dagger in you somewhere to take this team out. A few, a few unforced errors by us, but I will say, you know, they're passing a lot better, and, and they, they do have the hitters. So if they're passing well, uh, they're going to be a harder team to beat. So we need to, we need to keep putting pressure on them and, uh, you know, just cut back a little bit of our unforced errors that we're having, and uh, we'll, we'll be fine. The dreaded team you don't want to face here at the near the end of the season, yep. the Hayes Lady Rebels doing a pretty nice job and coaches coaches team competing really well thus far. Well, and I think like I said, I, I, I looked at the, the statistics and you know they they match up pretty well against us. They have some, you know, they have a lot of six footers, they have some strong middles. Uh, we want to feed the middle. You know, they have some good blockers there. So our pin hitters need to, you know, um, Pick up the pick it up a little bit there. I and, think you know. And Coach Coach goes way back there with Coach Warren as well. Yep. So I mean, like she, it, it, she's not she's seen this rodeo before. So here comes Tello here on the serve out of the timeout received here by Claymire. Kemp with a set. Here comes Eklund on the right side and gets nice. it through. There you go, McKenna Eklund. McKenna Eklund. That's exact. That's what we needed. Uh, you know, we needed a quick side out there. Uh, Abby Abby Watts has been serving well. She, she's right up there with Kristen and Aces for the year. Let's see if she can go on a run. All right, we got Sasha, Kristen, Maddie, Kelsey, Taylor, and now here comes Abby. Whoa, that was a Chester nearly hit up. Here comes Agnew with a drop shot covered up by Rio. Set here by Watts. Here comes Maddie. Maddie through the block. Maddie through the block for point fourteen. Big swing. I, that was a, I thought that was a really important point there. You know, they crept it back to three. Now we pulled it back out to six. Uh, that was a nice swing by Maddie. 14 to 9. The actual Cavaliers leading by 5. Maybe 6 here soon. Here comes oh, Torres with the back. Hit back and tipped up there by Maddie. It catches it off the Rudick tip. Comes the two handed touch on over there by Claymeyer from the left side. Torres goes here to the middle of the call. It's punched up in the air. One armed it. Watts sends it on over here to Claymeyer. Send it back deep to Croft. Comes Sydney Collins with a big swing. Everybody hustling for a reel with the wheels. And oh, no, Claymeyer trying to get it to the third touch. and. Great you know, touch. That's a great play by, by that Collins kid there, too. That was, that was. I tell you, the other thing we got to think about here is Torres, you know, I think, you know, their, their setter went down earlier this year, their senior setter. So Torres has come in, and uh, she's doing a good job. She's 14 to 10. Well. Cavaliers lead by four. Watts sends it here to Claymeyer. Claymeyer with a big swing. Maddie there to near the catch the block back. He is catching a little bit of momentum. Back to three points. Uh, big wall. They have a big wall. Let's get a pass right here. 14 to 11, Cavaliers down three. Here we go. Received here by yeah, Cohen here on the serve receive. And we got, uh, we've got kits on the floor. we got to watch it down there, ladies. I tell you, to the right of me, Mike, here, you, you know, uh, we probably have 40, 40, 50 middle scorers. They're getting very excited trying to will their team to victory here. 
And here's the serve receive. That's going to be an ace here for the Rebels. Now down 14 to 12. Yeah, we might need a timeout again here. It's, uh, you know, we, we need to be careful here. We don't want to let this one slide, slide away from us. Here we go. We go. Cohen senses here to Watts. Here comes Sasha on the down drop and hits it on over. Torres hits it to the right side. Kropka, drop shot. Trio nearly, get, Sasha nearly digs it out of the net. Wow, that's a weird run going on here by Hayes. Jim is flat right now. And yeah, Kravka, you know, Kravka just uh, uh, you know, a little roll shot of her own there, and, and she's finding the spots tonight. She's playing well. They're putting up a big, you know, they're, they're keying on our middles tonight. I got to tell you, they're, they're trying to say, you know what, if you want to beat us, your pin hitters are going to have to do it. Received here by Chams. Here comes the set by Watts for the outside. Maddie with the response, hits a deep court. Torres sends it back here to the other side, tipped off the block, covered by Cohen. Watts sends it here to Kristen Claymeyer. Claymeyer tips it, rolls it, gets the kill. There you go. You go out to Kristen Claymeyer when you need some help there, and the senior steps up. And a big point there for the Cavaliers. That was a huge point, you know, and you, you go to your senior leader, and she, you know, she, she took care of business on that one. Here comes Kristen. There's a serve received by Croft Torres with a set behind. Sydney Collins on the slot, and, you know, we're seeing some pretty dynamic offense by Hayes. They're moving at both sides of the pins, attacking middle, making good passes. They are perfect passing. I mean, that, that was a, I, I was about to say perfect pass, and that's the difference. We had them scrambling. They were out of they were out of system a ton in that last match. So this is going to be a great battle here tonight, Mike. Cavaliers got to light it up here. Find the fire. Received here by Cohen. Watts with a set. Here comes Sasha. Sasha sends a deep court, but too strong. He said, "Was that tipped or no?" Bye. Oh, come on, I thought that was a little, I thought you hit that right off the top. Maybe it was a micro tip, we'll see. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I think Sasha might have gotten that a little too far, but yeah, you know, 15 to 15, here comes gut check time here for the Cavaliers. Cohen, pass from that, Watts here to the outside. Here comes Jams, tipped off the block, covered by Torres. Tello sends it here to Kroka, over two blocks. Cohen, there to tip it down the line. Sasha, yeah. hits it on over. And a lift go. Oh yeah, we're gonna call a lift there now. Lift so by, lift by Sasha. That, that was, that was a good call. probably correct call. But that was a correct call. Yeah, we need to get a side out right here. We're a little flat. I see us looking at each other a little bit. The bench is looking a little nervous. We need to get some some, some momentum here. Received here by Cohen. Passed around here by the Cavaliers. Claymeyer sends it deep. Here on the third touch, set from the middle. Collins rips it. It's a case team playing with some spirit right here. They are passing really well. They're, they're running a lot of different offensive plays right now. I think Coach is going to get a timeout. 17-15. Quiet gym right now in the cap dome as, you know, Coach Coates was really fiery there. I mean, you can see her really she getting was. after it here on the floor. This is the best I've seen them pass. And, uh, you know, I, I, I knew they had enough hitters to give us some trouble, um, and they match up well against us blocking. It's been their passing and serve receive, and that is on tonight. So we're going to have to earn every point. Well, I mean, I, I guess what the rub is at this point is, you know, Cavaliers have got to convert at the pins. I mean, we, we've gone we've gone pretty heavy at the middle. They're yeah. prepared for it. They've got to find a way to try to get some get, get our gals out in space a little bit, maybe try to get some single blockers up in front, we find do. some open area. I mean, Torres has been the best player on the floor right now because, A, she's been defensively in the right spot every single time. She's making great decisions on two. She's making great passes to set up these kill, 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 uh, hitters on both sides of the pins. And, now, somebody on the Cavaliers has got to step up and respond. So 17 to 15, we'll see who it's going to be. Received by Chams, nearly overpass Watts sends it. Sasha hits it. Once, twice hit by Tello. Now pass across here. Croft got blocked. And hit back by Chams. Hit back again to the Cavaliers side. Watts sets it. Sasha hits it and a kill for the Cavaliers. Let's go! Great pass. Great, great play by Sasha there. That was a, that was a good rally. There was a lot of, a lot of tight plays that could have called either way you know and a great great set in transition and Sasha put it right on the line 17 to 16 it's going to be Cohen here on the serve Ooh, great serve received diving up for it as Hayes head on the right side by Crop cut too far too far point for the Cavaliers tied at 17 good eye good eye you know we're, we're taking away that cross court from her she's trying to force the ball line she's not as comfortable there so Kelsey you know let's keep this going Cohen we need to keep this ball in play and 
Take this one. Here comes Kelsey. Been fantastic. Ooh, that's going to be just out. I mean, she's got an interesting spin on that serve. That one, uh, well, it just spun out of play. 18 to it's 17. Okay, it's an aggressive play. You know, you like to see that ball in, but let's get a side out right here. Just get a perfect pass and run a, run a play. 18 17. Good on. Good, good on. Good on, like Claymar, as you said. That serve goes a little strong. Probably not more than about a couple of inches past the line. Yeah, that's that's kind of what we were doing. We were, you know, we would get the ball back and we'd give it right back to him in an unforced error. Let's see if we can take advantage of it. And we'll have Erie out on the floor here. Heppel here on the uh, serve. Tipped up there for Robertson. Claymeyer trying to save herself to go get that ball. And a point here for the Rebels, and Great. Robinson gets a kill for the middle from the uh, for the Rebels. Yeah, Rob Robinson, nice swing by her, but even a better set by Torres. You know, she saved that with one hand. You know, we thought it was coming over. She saved it, and uh, point point Hayes. Rebels now here on the serve received there by Cohen. Heppel sets it here to Eklund. Eklund sends it diagonal, set in front of the net. Robinson tries to launch it. Cohen. High dig up in the air. Heppel sends it here to the left side. Here comes Jams. Jams down the line. Dug up there by the Rebels. Torres calls for it. Hit the left side. Agnew hits it on the top of the tape. It's going to be joust of the net. Erie sends it over two hands. Hayes with it. Teller with a pass behind. Agnew sends it too far. Excuse me, that's Croft. Catherine Croft uh, at her feet from the left side of the net. Nice long rally. I, I'd like to see us continue to extend these rallies. I think Hayes will make some errors. Uh, if we can continue to extend these rallies, you know, force hey, hey, them to make Hayes plays. is playing at their very best. They There's going to be a level where they come down here soon enough. This cannot sustain. Torres hits it with the Robertson, hits a block back in the net. That's a point for the Cavaliers. No Good. disrespect to this Hayes team, but they're making every pass. They're making every set perfect and every kill. And, I mean, the loss of Matt Max, hey, that can't last. It just really can't unless, you know, you really went to church for the last couple of years and <laughs> prayed for this. 20 to 19, Cavaliers back up in front. Received here on the near side. Torres bumps it up here to Tello. It hits it on over. Received by Cohen. Set by Heppel. Erie slips. That's hit back and a camp fire. Yeah, a little low. That set was a little low. A little off there, their timing. But you don't see that often between, uh, you know, between uh, uh, Heppel and Cassidy. But it was a little low. And, and their blocks are there. So we're going to have to earn this one. 20 to 20. It's going to be cropped here on the serve. Here it's set to. Received by Claymeyer, overhands it up in the air. Go right back to Kristen on the give and go. Gets it over the block and a kill for Kristen Claymeyer. Let's go. That's two in a row by Kristen. You know, let's, let's keep feeding her, right? She's a senior. Um, you know, they are really keying in on our middles right now. You know, we need to push it out to the pins and, and let Kristen do go to work. 21-20, Cassidy-Eary. Sends it right back. Torres bump pass in here. They go to Croft. Cross the laser off the hands of Rudick. Good swing, good swing, you know, Sasha was there, but, uh, you know, that was a good swing. It was a good swing, and they're attacking, so let's get a side out right here. This is, I mean, again, Cavaliers getting challenged. This is good for us, but got to find a way to come up with set two and tie this one up. Happen with the set. Here comes Kristen Claymeyer. Claymeyer down the line, drop shot. Torres, two hands it over. Received by Hempel. Eklund calls for it, back into play. Cohen's going to freebie this one short. Received the attack line. Torres sets. Here comes the slide by Collins. Received by Rio. Good pass. Heppel bumps it. It's going to be Claymeyer. Sends it back. We got a volley going. Torres tips it on over. Received by Cohen. Heppel one arms it over. Tip back across. Sasha nearly keeps it up in the air. Got a good fight going here. Good rally. Good rally. That was, that was a good rally. A lot of good plays in that rally there. Sasha just missed that ball. It was a joust at the net. And uh, Point Hayes, they're up 22 21. And it'll be Tello. Jump serve received here by Claymeyer. Set here by Heppel. Comes Eklund. What they call a double? Yeah, that was a double. Yeah, just a little bit of, little bit of ball handling on that one. She, she really wanted to go back to McKenna. McKenna, it was a great play. It would have been a great play. She had her mind made up. She was going to go back. We need a side out right here. 23-21, Tello received here by Claymeyer. Set by Heppel behind her. Comes Eklund. Eklund with the laser and the response. Uh. Great swing by Eklund. Eklund's come in and put some really good swings on the ball. Moving that ball around, and that's just what we needed. 23-22. Cavaliers down one here in set two. Trying to keep from going down two sets to none. Let's go, Watts. Let's keep the pressure on. And Watts floats this one over the middle. Cross! And it is for Abby Watts! Good job, Abby! Easy there, Abby. Yeah, easy. Abby's gesturing to the crowd. 
Yeah, we got a rowdy. There's a, you know, that's a good group of Hayes, Hayes fans here, and they're 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 cheering on their team. Abby's got to be careful though. That could be a you know a point well, or a yellow card. I mean, so. th th there's two sides to that coin. I mean, when I when I played and we had students who were you know yelling stuff about me being a coach's kid. You know, I, I, I love, I love, I love I to just be able to sit there and say, I'm coming right for you. But, you know, on this end, yeah, hey, how about that? You know I what? Like I, I, I'm good with it. I'm good I, with I it. Like, I like the fire. Like she just, you know, coach just hopefully just pulled her aside and said, hey, love Let's the fire. That. Love the fire. You know, I, 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 you know, I love it. You're in the match. You're in the game. Let's just be a little careful. We don't want to give them a reason to, to take a point off the board. So, now this is this important. Hayes out of a timeout. Yeah, we want to see we want to see Abby get this ball in play, keep the pressure on them, but let's let's force them to make a play. Tied up at 23. We got the middle scores coming out in the court. Great yeah, atmosphere here. Great Abby, this is great. This gym is rocking right now. 23-23. Abby Watts here on the floor for the Cavaliers. About to go here on the serve. I think we're going to see if we've got debris or gum on the floor, or do we got uh, maybe it's a clue from a. Uh, a pirate map or something, <laughs> you know, find in the middle of the floor of Cavs Nation your next clue to find the buried treasure, so. All right, here we go, Mike. 23-23, Watts here on the serve. A heck of a match we've got going on. Watts going to float this one over deep court. Set here by Torres, slide, off bounce, hit tip. Oh, saved by Maddie. saved by Maddie. Watts goes back to the other end. Torres text tipped by Collins, saved by Claymeyer. Cohen passes it. Here comes Maddie. Sends it deep court. It's going to be joust at the net. Rio trying to hustle, save it. And it's going to be a point for the Rebels. Torres with another nice play. She is, she is, she is really been aggressive on those second balls. Putting a lot of pressure on our defense. Hey, we believe, all right? 24-23, Torres on the serve. Sends it here to Claymeyer. Good pass here to Watts. So here comes Kristen. Over to Splock saying into the net, into the net, into the net. 25-22. It's all right. 25-23. Hayes, Hayes has come to play, like we said. We're going to have to earn it. We haven't, we haven't seen these types of, uh, of sets in a long time. Um, let's see what we're made of. We're down, down uh, you know, 2-0-2 in the, this match. Well, it is, uh, it is time to go to our pass in college section here uh, between uh, sets two and three. Uh, let's take a look here at, at some of our three Cavaliers playing around. Uh, number eight, University of Chicago, featuring Audrey Scrapford, now 21 and two, with a three and zero in conference play. Uh, she's hitting about 2.94 kills per set. Uh, Audrey and uh, the University of Chicago beat a uh, number 15, uh, University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire. Oh, wow. well, I was really close to there. Uh, UW Claire generally tends to be really good in, in sports, uh, with all the other uh, YAC schools up there in that area. Uh, they beat Milliken. It's in southern, Illinois, kind of the southern Illinois area, central Illinois area. So they're 21 and two right now, and they're playing in the UAA round robin, uh, round two this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Check out University of Chicago's website uh, if you want to try to stay posted with that. Uh, right now, the, uh, the Liam Mulkey and the Ole Miss Rebels. Uh, 11 and 8, 1 and 4 in, in, in uh, conference play. Uh, she's averaging about 2.23 kills per set, 1.83 hitting percentage, but she's second on the team in total attacks. Like she had not a whole lot of errors. She had like about like 40 attacks wow. in that last match. That that the uh, next match for them is going to be against Friday against Missouri on the SEC Network and ESPN Plus. So I mean uh, that that'll be on Friday night, but we've got another thing going on Friday that I think we'll all be paying <laughs> yeah. attention to. Uh, how's uh, how's their team doing? What's their record in this? Uh, well, eleven and eight, and one and four, one and four in SEC. conference play. Yeah. I mean they uh they, they played. Uh, I mean, SEC is no joke. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of really quality athletes, and great teams there. That there you know, she's getting a lot of swings. I mean, Good. for a redshirt sophomore, I mean it is uh it's a tough spot right now, but. Uh, Skyler, uh, six and ten right now, two and four. Started ten of the thirteen matches she's played on the sixteen that they played. I don't know if she's she's had injuries. Uh, Thirty-five assists against Stephen up Boston. Uh, Demons fell three to one to Stephen up Boston. We'll play uh, McNeese on Thursday and Lamar on Saturday in Southland Conference play. And uh, tip of the cap over there to Coach Coach's daughter, uh, Mackenzie has has played a little bit uh, with the the Islanders of uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. 
Uh, yeah, she, she was a heck of a player. Seemed like a pretty nice kid. Great. Uh, played a little bit of beach in 2017. I think it's stick primarily to indoor. Okay. But okay. Yeah, they have a good beach program as well. I think so. If you're right there, literally on the beach, yeah. like you're you're literally right there in the ocean. And uh, well, I tell you, Mike, we this is this is uh, this is becoming more more than a test, right? So now, um, you know, we need to, you know the, the goal is to win district. So this this match is now becoming more and more important. Yep. Um, you know, we're down 0-2. You know, it's critical now to take it one point at a time, you know, one set at a time, and, uh, you know, really, you know, really need to, 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 to focus on what we're doing. Um, you know, they're, they're blocking well. They're, they're, they're shutting down, um, you know, our middles. I wouldn't say that they're scoring a ton against our middles, but they are get, getting block touches, and that's slowing the ball down, and they're passing at a pretty high level right now, so... Our pin hitters are going to need to continue to produce until we can open up the middle again. And, um, you know, our passing was a little off that set, you know, the back half of that second set. I'd like to see us get a little bit more balls in system. But, um, you know, now's the time to go. This is it, right? Uh, well, you know, we worked hard for this. I mean, this we, were, we were in this position exactly last year when these two teams met at Hayes in the second round. I mean, Cavaliers did not play very well in the first two sets. They come and take sets three and four. And then it became kind of a slugfest in, in set five. So we've been here before, and I think this is the wake-up call this team needed to, to play with some urgency here and get dialed in. And I, and I see it, the mood on the floor is different than the one that we saw in sets one and two. So I got a good feeling about the Cavs here in set three. So Tor is going to send this one on over, received here by Cohen. Watts with a set. Here comes uh, Sasha, blocked back, hit by Watts. Here comes the two in the touch on over by Claymeyer. Tello bumps it up in the air. Here comes a hit on the left side. Tipped off the block. Received by Jams. Set by Watts or the outside. Here comes Claymeyer. Sends it deep. That was not tipped. That's a point for the Rebels. Yeah, there, you know, a couple blocks on Sasha there, right? The block first a block touch, then then a you know then a block over. Not a not a block kill, but you know they're not letting her balls hit the floor right now. One to nothing. Here in step one, Claymeyer with the pass. Watts with the set. Hit on over by Hamilton here on the left side. Passed around here by, it's going to be Agnew who sends it deep. Here comes the set. Here comes the touch by Sasha. Bumped around here by Tello. Hit by Torres. Dug out of the net, nearly a net violation. Here comes Hamilton with a laser down the left side cross court. Krofka launched it over, received here by Cohen. Set by Watts. Here comes Kristen. Kristen with a great cut. Hit back to Kristen. And a big smack there on the left side of the net. Great swing by Kristen. She jumped. You know, Ball, ball came back quickly in the second ball, almost like a basketball rebound play. She jumped up quickly and 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 put that ball away. Nice kill. Let's see if that can get us, you know, get some momentum going for us. One to one here in set number three. Cavaliers scrambling here to try to get even the set uh, set a piece. Hit by uh, Agnew, bumped by Cohen, hit by Wheeler at her feet here on the left side. Torres bumps over the air. It's Kropka. Kropka cuts it and. Somehow stuck inside the line. Yeah, Kropka loves. She loves that angle shot right at the ten foot line. You know, our off blocker needs to be ready for that a little bit. Um, we need to keep, keep setting that block on the inside with her. I'd force her line. Yeah, she's done a really nice job on that. And I mean, we'll see if that continues. And there we go. Finally, an error for Hayes, who has played. We'll you take know, it. Like I said, I mean, they they played at the very best they can. They made very few mistakes. They were very efficient. But that doesn't last very long always. So we'll see how long it does. And Cavaliers got to respond. Received here by Tello. Torres with a set. Sends it across. Hit hard by Agnew. But received by Claymeyer. Watson for the net. Pops it up in the air. Jousted. And going to be a point for the Rebels. Yeah. Yeah, another, another in-system pass by, uh, by Hayes. Allows them to run a little bit of an offense. Um, we got a nice block touch on that play. Um, but then our, di our dig was a little tight. You know, causing a, causing a bad set. Received here by Claymeyer, set by Watts here to the outside. Here comes Jams. Jams off the block. Torres one-handed save. Tello bumps it around. Hit by Croft. Set here by Watts. Here comes Cassidy Erie. Dug up back row. Justin Clear. Robertson hits it. Nice and play point. by the freshman. Cassidy was right there. You know, uh, Hayes is doing a little bit to, to, to us what we do to other teams. Uh, they're making spectacular digs in the back row, and they're getting their hands on the ball in the front row. So... Yeah, that, that starts to make you a little frustrated. 
Here comes the receive here by Champs, set by Watts. Here comes Hamilton. Hamilton with a kill, and they may need to rise on Keeley Hamilton because somebody, I mean, it's been, everybody's been getting kind of checked here a little bit that, it, you know, there might have to be somebody here, especially with Kenna Eklund, that makes things happen here and steps up for this Cavalier team. The time is now, four to three. Eklund here on the serve, good serve. Middle of the floor, Torres with a set behind. Kropka lobs it, received there by Cohen. Eklund with a set. Here with a drop and a kill for the Cavaliers. Tied up at four. Nice play. So we got McKenna Eklund in, I think, to, to set for, for, uh, for Carson Hempel. Uh, coach is switching things up here a little, just trying something different. And uh, you know, that was a nice play right there. Cassidy put it away. Four to four, Eklund now here floats it. Middle of the floor. Set here by Torres, here to the outside. Agnew gets a paintbrush. Saved there by Jams. Jousting back and forth the point for the Hayes Rebels. Playing very confidently right now. And we'll see what the call is. Yeah, I'd like to see us. I, I feel like we're setting the block tonight really far out on the pins. I'd like to see us pull that back in a little bit. Um, they like to go cross court. And uh, um, I'd like to see us set that block a little, little bit more on the inside. Five to four, it is on the serve here for the, uh, up well, here's the serve receive Eklund. Touching a laser hit by Erie. Can't go inside to side rather than going middle. And you know, there is open areas right there because everybody's playing middle. They're expecting middle. They're expecting, you know, the Lake Erie smashes and the Sasha the Slayer smashes real, middle. Real subtle play there. Just moved her a little bit to the right, like you said, created a little lane for her hitting. Five to five, Rio here with a great serve down the near side, received left side, set by Torres, here comes Robertson, hitting with some attitude, but into the net. Yeah, I was a you know, scared freshman early on, and now she's come out and played pretty well. And she's, she's swinging aggressively, and uh, you know, a little outside. I say number five, Brooke Shealy for, for Hayes. She's a beach player. She's having a great evening as well. She's passing and digging very well tonight. Rio now here on the line drive serve, and a little too strong. Tied up at six. Ain't gonna come easy. Keep fighting. Yeah, I think I think a little few, a little too many of those this evening. I, I like you know I think we're we're serving aggressive, but we're we're missing long a lot tonight, and uh, I think we gotta pull that back in if we're gonna take this match. Six to six here received. Bumped around, hit by Maddie, blocked in the net, and a point here for the Cavaliers. Actually got it through. Nice play by Maddie. Uh, you know she made an adjustment. That set was pushed off the net a little bit more than she wanted. She made a nice adjustment on it and used the block. We yes. need to get a nice little run here, you know. Hayes is playing with a lot of confidence right now. We, we need to get, we need to knock some of that down and uh, go on a little bit of a run. All right, Ginger Baldwin in for the first time. This might be somebody who could bring a spark here to this Cavalier team off the bench. Served pretty well. Line drive, serve, receive. Passed around. Now it's going to be acting into the net. Nice serve. You're right. Ginger, Ginger's been serving well. She comes in. She brings a lot of good energy. She has been serving well, we, you know, got them out of system there, made, you know, forced them into a bad hit. All it takes is one player to lift up the energy of your team, and we'll see if Ginger can get that fire going here for the Cavaliers. Just sluggish, Torres, except the attack line, hit by Croft, blocked back. Back into Hayes territory, Torres dumps it off. Wow, great touch there by Torres, Cut the Cavaliers sleeping, and man, yeah. that kid is ridiculously smart. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, you know, uh, McKenna Eklund, you know, hasn't played as much in this match. She needs to be prepared for that. Torres is going to try to bring it over when she can. We just need to be prepared for that. That's Eight. definitely been something that they came in here, you know, working to do. Eight to seven. Floating spin serve received here by Claymeyer. Eklund with a setter. Comes Maddie on the slide. Maddie gets it through the block. Maddie in the machine. Let's go. Maddie's having a really nice evening. I have her, I have her down, I think, for six kills against one error. Um, she's playing, you know, hitting at a, a high efficiency again. But I, I really think that, you know, the coach saw something, and she's, she has Torres hitting, hitting a couple of our weak spots. Something we gotta, we got to continue to work on. Yeah, actually, it's a good time to, to see this stuff, so you can maybe fix it. Receive here by Rio. Cohen calls for it. Now bumped across. Now Keeley going to send it over. Received here on the Hayes side. Good set. Collins is blocked. Denied. Hit on the other side. Cough denied again. Sasha. You cannot get past Sasha the Slayer. Sasha was not going to be denied in that point, Mike. She she had a number of block block touches and then finally put it away with a block kill. Ten to seven, Cavaliers starting the rally as we go up the roller coaster. Let's pick up the speed. Here comes the set by towards behind. 
has sent it, lobbed here at Rio, good pass here to Watts. Here comes Claymire. Claymire drops shot, covered down the line. Torres with the jump set, hit on the left side. Off balance here, received by Rio. Watts with a set. Here comes Keeley. Keeley, oh, per, uh, good idea to go for the cut, just a little too strong. But you see the energy picking up a little bit on the Cavalier side. You do, you do. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a good, good aggressive swing. You know, a little bit of an unforced error. But uh, let's get a side out here and get, you know, get the ball back. Eight to ten, Cavaliers lead by two. Rio, oh, Cohen, no, in the going into the bleachers. Rio, no, almost not going to get the one over. Ten to nine, at Cavaliers. Uncharacteristic, uh, you know, serve receive uh, error by Kelsey there. You don't see that very often. 10 to 9. Received now here by Cohen. Set by Watts. Here comes the strike by Claymire. Drop shot. Perfect. Perfect shot by Kristen Claymire. Kristen's playing really smart. She's she's been she's been scoring a lot of points here in the, in the you know the back half of this uh, second set and the beginning of this uh, third set. It was a really nice set by uh, by Abby as well. Getting no rhythm here. 11 to 9. Cavaliers lead by two, needing to take set three. Yeah, passed around here by Hayes and a hit off the antenna. Again, wheels starting to fall off a little bit for Hayes. It's like yeah, they're, they're passing, like you said. It, you know, they've been passing at the highest level we've seen all season, and uh, that's starting to falter a little bit. It's hard to run your offense if you're not in system. 12 to 9, a spin serve. Ooh, that was nearly off, but that was received there by Agnew. Agnew tries to get it through. Received by Watson, the other side of the floor. Cohen pass behind. Here comes Jams. Jams gets it through. The wheeler in the sky keeps on turning. Smart play by Jams. She, she, uh, you know, she, she waited on that ball. Uh, she knew she had two blockers up there. Uh, she didn't take a full swing. She played it right off the block, fell right in the middle of their defense. And so, like, you, know, you see a little bit of crack here now. What's been different in this match is when we get up four or five points, they've been able to come back. So, you know, this is an important uh, part of this match right here. Coming out of this timeout, you know, let's get a good, a good aggressive serve in, in play, uh, put the pressure on them. Let's try to extend the rallies right now, force them to make a play. Last, uh, you know, last time it went five. So, uh, you know, Hayes, okay, so this is what happened. Uh, this was October 24th of last year. 25-14, 25-14, Cavs take set three, 25-21, 25-20, and lose set five, 15-12. And, you know, I, I, I hope that's still fresh in those kids' mind as to, you know, and I joked with Coach Coates after the game. I said it wouldn't really be a Lake Travis Hayes match if you guys didn't go five. Like, it always just has kind of had that feel for the yeah. years. So we need it tonight. We need to go five tonight, so. This is, this is an important part of this match right here. We, you know, let's see if we can extend this four-point lead instead of giving some points back like we have in the first two sets. Good serve by Claymire, middle of the floor, Torres with a set across. There's a big hit by A, blocked! And touch over here by Torres, good co cover there by Claymire. Set hit by Sasha, tries to cut it. It's his, his kid skits over the top of the tape, and uh, we've got a touch shot. Good point there by the, the Rebels. 13 to 10. That was, that was, I thought that was outside the antenna, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the line ref had a better better angle than I had, Mike. 13 to 10. Cavaliers lead by three. And low serve received by Champs. Good bend to pick that one up. Here comes Champs. Block back. Cohen blocked straight down, trying to save that one up in the air. Good block. It was a good swing. Good, you know, better block. But this is, this is what Hayes has been doing to us. We had a four-point lead. They, they called timeout. We come out. Now that now it's two points. This is, this is what they've been, they've been hanging around. 13 to 11, two-point lead for the Cavaliers. Jams, good pass here. Cohen calls for it. Here comes the Wheeler. Wheeler gets it through. Once, twice with the, oh, wow. Still saved by Hayes. That's like four touches. Here comes Sasha with the block. answer. Black saved there by Tello. Good set there by Kropka. Cuts it. Saved around. Cohen calls for it here on the third. Cavaliers not panicking yet. Jousted nearly. Collins over hands and saved by Watts. Back to the other end. Here comes Torres with a set. Hit by Cross to block back. That's a lift. That's a point for the Cavaliers. What? They caught her that time, Mike. They got her that time. That was a great wall. Great block. It was a very good rally. A lot of plays right at the net. Um, you know, we had a big block up there. Came right back at at. Crafta and, and she couldn't get it up this time. And here comes Kelsey Cohen off the serve. The International House of Pancake sends her right to Tello. Hit by Crofka. Touch shot. Nearly insane. It was Pancake. And 
Yeah, that was, I think it was down. I think it was down. I, I, you know, crafty. Yeah, she she is crafty. You know, she is. Uh, uh, she's pulling out a lot of shots. They're feeding her, so we gotta we gotta be ready for that. 14 to 12 received here by Claymeyer. Watts with a bump up here, hit on the left side by Jams. Sent deep court. Set here by Torres. Hit by Crop. Oh, safe with pass back front to the other way. Torres sets it. Here comes Robertson from the middle tip. Nearly saved by Cohen again. 14 to 13. Hayes playing with a little more spirit right now. Yep. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of what Hayes has been doing this match. We had a four-point lead, called a timeout. They've they've scrapped back to to a one point one point match and uh, you know they're just making they're making some plays and they're uh, they're going to their hot hand um, you know we need to be ready for that and uh, you know uh, you know we're, we're we're a little out of system you know we're, we're not getting to run our offense quite as much as we'd like so uh, you know we're, we're gonna need to you know continue to improve our passing here to, to get back in system and, and put the ball away like I said, it just takes one player to make a play to get everybody fired up. It takes one bench kid to just go bananas at some play. I mean, it. This is a tough. I mean, this is a tough circumstance. Every. I mean, something is going to slow this Hayes team down at some point. I don't know what it's going to be. There's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. At least that's what you hope for Lake Travis. Yeah, we they're need, playing we exceptional need to, right now. Yeah, we need to make some plays. I, I tell you, their ba body language looks pretty good right now. And uh, we're, we're looking a little tight to me, so we need to, we need to, here we we go. to loosen up. Set here by Watts. Here comes Erie. Erie back, back here to Watts. Jousting it back. Covered here by the Rebels. Playing confidently here on the road. Torres blocked by Sauce by Jams. And hit by Watts, hit by Erie. Erie tip tools about the block that spins in front of the line. Point for the Cavaliers. And whenever the Cavaliers need some energy, well, they go out and trip to Lake Erie. Cassidy, nice nice play by Cassidy. Smart play. Deep into the corner, off the block. That's just what we need. Now, we have a two-point lead here. Let's see if we can just continue to extend this lead instead of, uh, you know, giving it back to Hayes. Got to have some fight and some fire in here, here for Lake Travis. Set here by Torres. Kind of the best of it saved by Cohen. Nearly hit back to the other side on one. Hit on the left side, blocked again, and blocked out of bounds. Matty and Erie there. Yeah, Hay Hayes is running a pretty fast offense. They've been running that, that flat ball to the outside. You yeah, know, we're a little late uh, to the block, and they've been able to, to, to pull us a few times there tonight. Torres has set the ball really well. And like you mentioned, Jams passing it off here on the serve. Maddie bumps it up in the air. Called here by Eklund. Sends it here past the attack line. Torres wants it across. Hit by Eklund. Saved. Dug up there by Claymire. Popped up in the air by Erie. Erie hits it here left side. Or excuse me, it was Jams hit left side. Watch it deep. Cohen passes. Here comes a set here by Eklund. Jams hits it. Jams cuts it covered by Tello. Set here the other side. Tipped and saved there. They're tied up at 15. Yeah, that was another nice play. They're extending rallies. We've been talking about that. They're extending rallies. Their bench is fired up. You know, they, they have a lot more active, you know, there's a lot more activity right now. 15-15 received here by Cohen. Set here by Eklund. Hit by Erie. Line hard. Covered up by Torres. Tello launched it on over. Received here by Cohen. Set here by Eklund. Here comes Matty. Matty to and there we go. Kill for Matty Williams. Kill for Matty. I tell you. Great swing. Maddie's having another really, really good night, um, hitting at a high, high, high percentage. Um, I will say they are playing some inspired volleyball right now, um, and, and we need we need to, to match that same level of uh, of intensity. 16 to 15. Good serve there by Rio. Receiving the right back. Ooh, nearly an ace. But back in the play. Oh my lord! What a good hit there by Croft. Big swing by Croft. I mean, their bench is fired up. Their fans are fired up. You know, if I, I'm Coach Bourne here, and this might be one I might want to bring in somebody off the bench that hasn't been in this match yet, try to get some spark. I feel like we need something to, to, to give us a little bit of a spark right now. Right now, all the momentum seems to be on Hayes' side. 16 to 16. Well, who's going to be the playmaker? Cohen, good pass here to Eklund here on the right side. Oh, that's a tough set by Eklund. Yeah, that's an unforced error. You know, that's... Uh, you know, pretty pretty decent pass. You know, McKenna tried to go to Maddie there. Maddie's got the hot hand. A little bit of an unforced error there to give to give Hayes the lead. 17 to 16. Cohen 
pass around here to Eklund, bump pass, here comes Maddie. Maddie sends a cut diagonal, here comes Kristen. Kristen gets in the jousted, and that's gonna be a point for Kristen Claymeyer. Good swing by Kristen, good swing by Kristen. But you know, they're making us work for it. Even that ball, right, where they're not letting anything hit the ground. It reminds me of what we do to teams. It starts to get in your head, you start to press a little bit. Now, I like that Sasha's back in. I think, you know, this is where maybe Sasha can take over, you know, in the next couple of rotations. We need that kid from Montreal to, to make a play here. Possibly. Ginger sends it on over here on the serve. Torres in front of the net. Here's the block and covered by Claymeyer. Nice play. Bump, bumped around here. Torres jump center comes Robertson and into the net. Into the net. Into the net. Great, great play by Kristen to keep that ball alive. Extend that play. Let them, you know, force them to make an error. I can hear footsteps here on the Hayes side. 18 to 17. The pressure's on Hayes to try to finish this one. Here comes Baldwin on the serve. Tello bumps it across. Now hit on over. Received there by Baldwin. Slapped across by Claymeyer on two. Torres sets it here. Cropped off bounce down the line. Great hit there by the Rebels. Yeah, they're 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 running that flat ball outside. We are not we are not getting there in time. And they're running a fast offense right now. And uh, we're just not able to get there. We're a little, we're half a step behind, and that's causing them to be able to get some uh, some momentum over there. 18 to 18. Got this freshman kid here, Robertson, on the serve, tied up it there. Watch it here at Rio. Eklund got a bump set this one here to Maddie. Maddie on the right side. Watch the deep. Oh, Torres saves it. Once and now here's the third. Cavaliers in transition. Here comes set by Eklund. Uh -huh. Sasha with the tip block back. Uh -huh. Little low, a little low for Sasha. You know, McKenna, McKenna said it just a little, you know, a little low. Um, they were there for it. Uh, we wanted that up a little higher for her to be able to attack it. All right, we need a side out right now. 19-18 received here by Claymeyer, set here by Eklund. Here comes Kristen. Kristen with the laser down the line. That's going to go off one of the light posts. Croft trying to readjust in the air. Robertson sends it back over. Cole with a pass. Eklund with a set. Here comes the hit on over by Maddie Diagonal. Set in front of the net by Torres. Hit by Cole. Saved by Cohen. And that falls to the floor. Now 20-18. to 18. Uh, I think Coach is going to need a timeout here. Coach is going to need a timeout. So, you know, McKenna, McKenna's having a, you know, a little bit of struggle with her sets. She's had a few, few offsets. We're having to make some plays on it. And, uh, you know, Hayes is taking advantage. And uh, this is exactly what they've been doing in this match where we'll get up a, a few points and we're not able to extend those, those leads, and then they fight back. So it's really coming down to this, Mike. Last, you know, five, seven points here. We need, we need a you know, rally right now. 20 to 18, and it's gut check time here for Cavalier Nation. Cavaliers got to figure it out. Down two here in set three. Facing a sweep here by Hayes, who has played their most inspired ball of the season. And you know, I don't think this is the result anybody wanted tonight, but No, I I, I you know, as I was looking at the numbers, I, I felt like they matched up against this. I think the biggest thing is we gave them life early. Um, and they've been feeding off that. You know, you gotta give them credit. They are they're playing well defensively, they're playing aggressive. Um, this is gut chat time right now. This is uh, you know, this is a really critical uh, few points here, Mike. 20 to 18, Cavaliers down two, and it's serve receive. Received here by Claymeyer. Good pass here to Eklund. Here comes the slide to Maddie. Maddie tools it off the block. Point for the Cavaliers. Great swing by Maddie. Maddie is Maddie's playing great. She she is uh, you know having one of the better evenings here tonight. We you know we we were feeding her. Uh, now she goes out. Uh, we got Watts back to serve. We, we, we need to take advantage of with Sasha's in here and get a few more points. Here we go. Abby Watts here on the serve here. Junior for the Cavaliers. Floats it. Middle of the floor. Croft sends it. Torres going to try to pump it here on two. Watts now sets behind. Here comes Keeley. Keeley down the line. Bumped up here by Tello. Hit on the left side. Blocked into Brock City. Sasha. Big wall up there, put that ball straight down, straight down. We got the middle scores coming out onto the court here, Mike. Uh, yeah, this is this is good atmosphere here tonight. Let's, let's, let's keep it going. 20 to 20, here comes Abby Watts on the serve. Watts in the net. 21-20. Unforced error, so that's, yeah, that's a tough time right there. One of the one of the seven deadly sins. I'll get back to it later. Received here by Claymeyer. 
Set behind, there comes on the give it go. Gets it through the seam, gets it through the seam. We're tied up at 21. Great play by the senior leader. Uh, when we needed a point, we went to her. Um, you know, that last that last miss serve, you know, we just came off of a big a, adrenaline rush from that point, and uh, we want to get that in, but Kristen's back to serve now. 21-21, Clay Meyer floats it over here near side, received there by Agner, cut by Collins, tooled off the block, received by Cohen, set by Watts in front of that. Here comes, the, ooh, the paint rush there, we lost it by Sasha, 22-21. Ah, uh, wow, that was that was right what we wanted. Uh, you know, a great a great block touch, kept the ball in play. We were in transition, perfect pass. You know, nine times out of ten, Sasha puts that away. It was just their timing was off a little bit. And it's going to be Sheely on the serve and out of bounds. Point for the Cavaliers, side out. All right, let's go back here on the serve. Unforced error. Let's take advantage of it. All right, Cohen. I I, I like to see her get the, you know let's get this ball in, keep the pressure on them. 22-22, Cohen here on the serve. Here comes the jump serve. Gets it over. Tell him with a low receive. Torres and step behind. Crocker with a drop. Save! Save! It's saved! Saved there. Hit over by Jams. Torres now launches it across. Well, drop shot covered by Watts. Here come the Cavaliers. Cohen, now here comes Chance in the net. Almost a good chance to convert there, but a great save great. by Kelsey Cohen. Great save by Cohen. You know, it, it's just... You know, Unforced error, you don't typically see that by jams, but yeah, let's get a side out right here. 23-22, Cavaliers back and serve receive. Hamilton gonna check out. Eklund gonna come in here on the right side. Tello now here on the serve. Received here by Claymar. Good pass here to Watts. Here comes Erie. Erie slaps, spots it deep. Tello now with the center comes Krofka. Krofka blocked back. Received by Tello. Now again, Krofka again drops it. Received by Cohen. Comes a set by Watts. Here comes the Wheeler in the sky. And a kill for Chance Wheeler. Yeah. Let's go. Come great on. Yeah, great swing. That's just what we needed. She came back. She had an unforced error. We came right back to her. She put a high ball down the line. Let's push for two right here. Push for two, Mike. All right. We got an exciting match here. 23-23. Cavaliers. Eklund spins it here near side. Tell with a good pass to Torres. Launch it across. Oh, a great hit there by Croft. Uh, uh, that, you know, they're, they're just putting the ball right in system. Perfect pass. Running that fast ball to the outside. There's a, there's, a, there's a gap in the block, and they are taking advantage of that. Let's go. Side out right here. Twenty-four, twenty-three. Potential match point here for the Rebels. Received here by Claymeyer. Eklund now with the set. Here comes Maddie. Maddie gets it through. Block back, middle back, set across here again. Hit and a point. Hayes takes this one. I can't believe this just happened. Yeah, Hayes. Hayes came to play tonight. You know, they, they ran that fast ball to the outside all night long, and we just never were able to adjust from a blocking perspective and a defensive perspective. And uh, yeah, it's uh, you know disappointing, you know, especially to lose. 3-0 like that on your home court. Um, you know, all that being said, Mike, everything that they want to still do is still out in front of them. If they beat Westlake on Friday, um, you know, they, they will they will take the district, you know, likely, you know, take the district title or have yeah. a chance to take the district title. It's still in play. Um, but, yeah, that was disappointing. We came out flat. Uh, they came out inspired. They, they were, you know, running an extremely fast offense tonight and we just had a hard time adjusting yeah i mean he, he, he hit the nail on the head that taurus kid you know the depth of her sets and how quickly it went i mean that 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 really kind of caused some dysfunction uh we're gonna have coach born here to talk with us uh boy i mean that's a tough one coach i, I appreciate you coming over here uh, you know, Torres played prop. I mean, that that's probably the best game Hayes has played all year, and they really came to play tonight. Uh, I, I think this is probably going to be a nice little kick in the butt for your team to, to get inspired moving forward from Friday. Yeah, I thought Hayes had an unbelievable match over there. They dug everything that we had to give them. Um, they were great, you know, from the libero to their outsides to their middles. I mean, all in all, they were a great, great team that we played tonight. Nine, nine day difference for the first time you met and, and I mean this that this doesn't change anything the mission's still the same the path is still going to be the same a 
anything you wish that maybe could have been different for your team tonight outside of the result that you know i think that this is a, a good wake-up call for us that we've got to get a kick in our butt and we've got to practice harder you know we've been talking about that a little bit more in our gym how you know this is not um you know just this is not the end of our season we we still have um a good vision for where we want to go um and we've got to practice harder because we know that you know the other teams are just bringing it even more I, mean, and I think the toughest part is you had a lot of easier matches to lead into this one. So when you finally met a team that they played like this, it, you know, it I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to blame it on those yeah, other yeah, teams. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think we didn't show up like we needed to today. Um, you know, we, we had a lot of errors. We had 14 errors in the first set. We passed a 1.6. That's not our best volleyball game ever. Um, you know, and so once we can clean that up, we're going to compete at a higher level. Mike, anything you want to add to this? Yeah, I, I would say that, um, you know, Hayes was running a pretty fast offense tonight. They were in system. They were passing well. Um, you know, what do you, what do you think that we could take away moving into Westlake and hopefully obviously deep into the playoffs and how we can defend that and, and play against teams that are running a little, little faster? Yeah, um, you know, I think that we rely solely on our blocking sometimes. Um, and so we've got to work on, you know, how to defend that one-on-one -on -one when we are in those situations. Um, but, you know, I think that this is just going to be a good – a good um you know no. check and we're just going to go back and reflect and watch a lot of film tomorrow um and see where we can get better you know i think our hitters are so used to hitting the ball straight down also that we're going to work on that as well we can't expect to go you know and play really good volleyball hitting the ball straight down yeah and i, I you know I, I threw out a stat earlier you guys are 22 and one when the team hits over 200 or 199 yeah. 200 absolutely hayes held us i don't know what it was tonight but the last two matches below 200 they're they're a very good blocking team and it seemed to impact us a little bit uh, yeah tonight. after the first set we were hitting about a 214 um but still it's got to get it's got to get better so it's been a little bit of leander last year you guys lost three sets to none and then you were right there in every single point and the same thing i said to you after that it's just like i'm not concerned i mean yeah it stinks to lose that but you know they're getting right back on track and we'll see it friday yeah i mean we we talked a lot about you know this doesn't define our season um, you know, because we came out and lost to Hayes, you know, so we just got to, you know, get back in the gym, practice a little bit harder tomorrow and um, go out and try to beat Westlake. We beat Westlake, we tend to forget about us losing to Hayes. That's right. Everything's still out in front of this team. So, Absolutely. Uh, you know, so big, big, this, is the big, this is the meat of the district. So, uh, you know, looking forward uh, to Friday night. We'll look forward to Friday. Go be with your team, but get a good rest and, uh, yeah, we, we believe, so don't worry. Yeah, one thing I wanted to just mention is yep. um, breast cancer awareness is really um, something that I take to heart. Uh, my mom suffered from breast cancer, um, and, you know, just something that we need to make more women aware of, and early detection is the key. And uh, uh, this is a great thing that, that that's always done here. I mean, it's a shame that it's unfortunate the night ended the way it did, but everything all together, a uh, good night for, for everybody involved, and yeah, we got to honor a lot of ladies that got to stand up, and that was really, um, there was a lot of tears, you know, before the game on that. Um, even from the Hayes side, when they were lined up, they were, you know, pretty emotional. I thought that our team was very emotional tonight. Well, there's not much left to say here at this point. We'll see you Friday. Work hard. And we'll thank you. Thank you to our sponsors. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Coach. Well, that was, uh, that was a tough one here for all of us is, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm guilty enough of, of, of looking past this one and feeling like, yeah, we were yeah. just going to kind of go get this. And I, 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 I'm, I like the way Coach, uh, you know, a couple things there I heard from her. One, she's not going to allow the, you know, the middle of our schedule to define uh, how we play. So, you know, she's not going to blame it on, on you know, the, that, that part of the schedule and the competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, you know, it's I, worth I, mentioning, but it's like, you yeah. know, you're never going to have a coach to say yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, and I think, um, you know, I don't know if they did look past them. I, I thought I they played they inspired volleyball tonight for some reason. You know, uh, Coach said it. I, I thought they were doing exactly to us what we were doing to other teams earlier this year, and that was playing some inspiring defense, not letting the ball hit the ground. You know, you could see a little frustration at times on our side. I, I thought Maddie played another great match. We weren't able to get the middles involved as much as we we have we typically like to. Um, Kristen, I thought, you know, showed a lot of leadership in, in key moments of this match as well. You know, our setting was probably not as you know as not as, as consistent as it's well, been. 
I mean, Mike, but, I mean, we, we've, we've done so well through all these matches, like, it, it sort of felt like there was going to have to be some come-to-earth moment here where, like, it, it was almost uncharacteristic some in some respects that, you know, you go through what it, where of what now? What, what is this, the, uh, I'm, I'm looking, trying to look up the record again here on the standings. Uh, how many games we've gone through here? So now this is the 41st match wow. of the season. Yeah, all credit to that Hayes team. They play terrific. They're a great team. And I I mean, I've said it all year. I said, don't sleep on this Hayes team. Don't sleep on this Hayes team. Don't sleep on this team. So I, I don't like being right in that respect. But, you know, the ingredients were all there. Now we're, we've got a tie up the top of the district tie for, for district, and it makes things just a little bit more interesting for Friday. It does. It does. That uh, We didn't need any more motivation for that match, but, um, you, know, that, you know, sometimes this, this can be a good thing. I don't want to go there just yet because I, you know, we did not play our best volleyball tonight. I, I did not know we, yeah. we passed it a 1-6. That's pretty low. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to feed the middles as much when you're passing at that, at that level. We just... Uh, you know, I, I thought you made a really good point where we have been used to just swinging freely and hitting the ball, hitting the floor. You had to think a little more, which Kristen did a really good job of. Maddie did a good job of as well. But, um, you know, I think I think there's a lot you can take away from this, Mike. I think, um, you know, you never want to see, you, know, you want to protect your home court. That's probably the most frustrating thing, I would think. And you never like to go down, you know, 0-3. Um, yep. But, boy, th those – those sets were very close, uh, you know, a couple errors here and there, and, uh, you know, we, we take one of those sets, it could have been a different match. Teams lose games. Yep. You know, you're not, you're not impenetrable, you're not, you're not, you're not above having to learn a lesson, you're not above going through the process, and, I mean, I'm not, we're not in the gym, so we don't know what practices are like, I do know what it's like when you're winning sometimes, and yep. you feel like you're on top of the world, and, and you're, you're, you know, everything's going right for you. That the second, you know, you get kind of misdirected back into the into the swing of things, it's tough. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm not, I, I mean, a it's going to be a little tough to go to bed tonight, but I'm not too concerned. Yeah, it's a, it's really you know everything's out in front of front of us, and uh, every every goal that they set for the the season is still in play. Um, you know, it was a tough way to go out. I will say, you know, they've had homecoming. Um, yeah, there's been a lot going on in the last few weeks leading up yeah, to this I mean, that was, match. That, I mean, that was the other thing, too, is you had all the homecoming stuff last week. I mean, to try to, it, it's, I mean, I had that happen in my playing career, too, where you got a lot of stuff going on in the periphery, and then it's all of a sudden, hey, let's go play great volleyball again. Yeah, it's, and it's, Hayes, not, it's not as easy as you want it to be. So. And I, and I, you know, I was a little, I was concerned about the first set tonight. I thought that might set the tone. Um, you know, you give a you give a team like Hayes a little bit of uh, air, and um, you know they get the momentum going, and all of a sudden we start thinking a little tight because you know you're already thinking we're undefeated, we're 13 yeah, and 0 yeah, in yeah. district. I, I, we want we want to go undefeated the whole way, and then we you man, know we got go, a little tight here and there. So got to go what 16 matches, 18 matches to try to go undefeated. I mean, 18, I think. Yep. Yeah, we played 41 thus far, and. Uh, but Hayes yeah. played well. You got to get a chip. I mean, you know, them, uh, whatever you want to criticize, like Travis, yeah. I mean, that that was probably the best performance Hayes has put up this year. I, I and, thought I they mean, played they, really well. And, I mean, uh, I mean, th don't forget, this was a team that finished deep in pro at the Freyline tournament. Yep. Freyline, for whatever. Uh, I mean, just because they had kind of been a little bit rocky with, with some injury stuff and maybe they were trying to figure out their path, I was like, I was not looking forward to this match because something felt spooky about this all week. But yeah, I, I, I uh, you know, we, we we were talking as parents, and I, I just kept going back to this match. You know, I really uh, made me nervous, and I and I think, um, you know, the good news is, you know, I, I think if you look at some of the statistics, I think you'll see that, like you said, they played at an unbelievable level. Um, balls were not hitting the ground; they were they were terminating. Their, off their offense was fast. They were in system. They weren't missing a lot of serves, and we were kind of the opposite. We we were we were giving balls back to them uncharacteristically missing serves at key moments. Um, you know, we were not terminating as as well. We were out of system. So, 
Uh, and it was still, what, 25, uh, 23? 25, I mean, it was 25, two. 22, 25, 23, 25, 22. So, right there. I mean, it, it wasn't like – this wasn't like last year where they, they got beat pretty soundly in two sets and then had to rally. Like, you know, th there's very small margins for error to be successful. And, yeah, I'm again, yeah, it, it's not fun to lose these, but at the same time, the pain is part of the path. Well, I think the, 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 the fun part about this for this team and for the fan base is we, we go right back at it in three days here, Friday night, and, uh, you know, everything could be forgotten with a win there at Westlake. So uh, this, this, this should snap yeah. this team back together a little bit and, uh, and uh, really, really focus uh, on the next week at hand no, here. No great thing is done without a little bit of adversity along the way to, to, get, to get you to your best. So... Um, yeah, this was not a pleasant experience. It, I might not sleep as well, but, you know, the mission stays the same. Go be Westlake. Your season unfolds and just try to get sharp. I, th I feel like you got to get a little sharper and serve. We re I think Hayes really was prepared for every spot that we dropped it in. That yeah, You mentioned their coach. Uh, i got to tell you, she put together, I think, a heck of a game plan. Um, she was feeding the right side. She, she saw something there she liked. Um you know, she had their setter. Uh, their setter was was um, sending the ball over on the second touch quite a bit, and she was going short. She was hitting the corners. Um, they they saw something the last time they played us, and, and they had us off balance from from pretty early on in that match. And and to our credit, we fought hard and, and made some adjustments. But uh, you got to give a you know got to give that team credit, and you know their coach did a, did a heck of a job. She came in with a game plan, and they executed it well. Well, that is probably going to be it for us. I don't know how much more I want to talk about this game. <laughs> you, you, I hear you. Mike Biesecker brought Oh, this is Mike stuff. and Mike's first loss as a team, too. So Yeah, you know, it's, this is unfamiliar territory. But, hey, we're going to bounce back from this one. We, we certainly appreciate you joining us. Thank you to Les Clear, QA, and producer Chuck Licata, Rope Bertrand, the entire KMAC crew. Uh, Cavaliers fall in three sets to Hayes tonight in a shocking loss. But, hey, tied up at the top of the district standings. Go play Westlake. I think we'll have Bobby Jones and Mike Biesecker all hey, in the house here on the KMAC broadcast. And we'll get refocused and get ready here for Friday. And uh, we'll see we'll see this Cavs team play with a little bit more energy and intensity. And uh, you know Westlake's going to be prepared. You know Westlake's going to be hungry. They've been watching video too. So can the Cavaliers win the chess match and find the readjustments that you know, you're going to have to make to, to outsmart tough teams? And I think they can do it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, well that's said. that's gonna wrap things up. Unless you got anything else, Mike. No, it was a good, you know it was it was an unfortunate uh, ending, but it was um, really really great crowd in here tonight. The middle scores were out. Everybody was in pink. Uh, I, you know, for such a great cause. You know, Coach Bourne has been been impacted by this. She mentioned it later. Um, you know, I, I hope that uh, Friday night when we're talking, Mike, that this is this will be a you know the match will be a very distant distant memory. We'll leave this one behind us in our rearview mirror, but still top of mind as far as, hey, you know, part of the process of pain is part of the path, and, you know, just keep plugging away at it, though. So, final tonight, 25, 22, 25, 23, 25, 22. Good, great performance by Hayes. Tip of the cap to that, uh, Stephanie Coates and her squad have played terrific. They deserve all the credit in the world because they played with some fire. And Cavaliers going to need to relight that here on Friday. Join us here on KMAX Sports or come out to the gym. I, I mean, I appreciate their audience, but if you can make it into that gym, stay in that gym. Forget about that there's a football game. Get loud and proud and raise the energy level here for Cavalier Nation. I hope we have nobody listening because everybody's at the gym. You can catch the archive for all I care, <laughs> but get in that gym at Westlake and make some noise and let's get behind our team. Yep, Let's go Cavaliers. Friday night, big one. All right, signing off. So, so long, everybody. We'll see you at the next one.